You should. Yes. Yeah, I did already. All right. So this recording is sponsored by Honey I, and NordVPN. I wish this was sponsored. Welcome back to episode six, seven, or eight of D and D. Wait, what episode is this? This oh, is no. session six. Welcome back to episode six of D and D with friends. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> welcome to episode six of Final Fantasy and Friends. <laughs> Sound effects. Where's Tony? All right, cue the jazz music. I already turned it on. Yeah, let's go. Uh, okay, so last session we ended off with the collective village as a whole and people in the market area being called to a place called Angela's Tavern by Mayor. Which where we are right now. Mm -hmm. Fuck. This will. Oh. All right, grab my mouse. This would be the. Well, this would be the initiation of the festival. Is everything is gonna start popping off here? So with that out of the way, <clears throat> if you look over to the upper left hand of the screen, you'll see Mayor, and he has microphone in his hands, and he's just doing a quick sound check. And he speaks. <clears throat> ah, yes. I'm glad to see all of you here. I see a couple of new faces. Regardless, my name is Mayor. Welcome to Solace Village. And this will be the official initiation of our annual peace festival. I hope all of you have a good time. We've got food, we've got music. We've got plenty of entertainment. And if you just so happen to look over to the back right of the bar, you'll see my lovely wife, Angela. Oh, She's, bitch. She is the owner of this establishment. Uh, she will not hesitate to put a bullet in your face if you disrespect her. And aside from that, the bar, right? try not to break anything. Have fun. And with that, uh, the bar erupts into a series of appraise and, and excitement and before you realize it there is a really long line of people waiting to get their food and drink as things really get ready to kick off so with that out of the way if there is anyone you want to interact with go for it t -t 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 Wife. Okay, <laughs> you're just gonna jump to the front of the line. <laughs> All right. Uh, food. <laughs> okay. Fly with me. Uh, read your phone. The line for me. What? I said I'm sitting behind the line because I'm actually joining in the line. Okay. Uh, let me see. The line. The actual line would be, uh... Hang on. Are that back. blue smudges over there? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so... Poker, you want to talk to Angela? Yeah. Okay, well... Say something. Okay. We start. Okay, I... I approach Angela. Just Greetings, cheerily. sweetheart. How can I help you? Oh, she got me, sweetheart. That's not in. That's not voice. <gasps> voice. It's not. It's my head. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just like, oh, good evening, Angela. How are you today? I'm doing my... just fine, darling. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Mel. Um, I met your husband a few weeks back. Has it been weeks? I... Uh, You've been in the village for about four days. Oh. It's been a couple of days, several days, yeah. I met your I, I met your husband four days ago, and he seems like a really nice lad. So I wanted to come over and say hi. Oh well, how so sweet of you. Yeah, my little. Well, he's not very little. <laughs> oh. My big bear of a husband over there. He's a really nice guy, and he's told me all about you and your buddies really thankful for everything you've done and while I can't give you a bunch of freebies I can give you a little discount on everything we have on the menu tonight Ooh, what are you guys serving today 
It's the thought that counts. At least for me. We have plenty of non-alcoholic juices. We have a few different alcoholic drinks. We have appetizers. We have snacks. We have desserts. We have full three-course meals. And we have enough food in here to fill... Um... An entire continent. So... Eat to your heart's content, darling. By any chance, do you have a Long Island to drink? I do. However, just because you all have come from another world, like the majority of us have here, I don't know how old you are. So I can't just willingly uh... pass out alcoholic drinks like that. Otherwise, I'd lose my license <laughs> if I cared. I, don't, I, I actually have no idea how fucking old I am. Uh, let's assume, you know what, I'm 24, because I work in a like, store, right? so let's assume that I'm 20s. 24, hmm? Yes, 24. She looks younger than she looks. And she looks you up and down. How many days take place in the year where you come from? Um, 365, or 60. Hmm. Well... It wouldn't make you legal in the Palamecian days, but that's eh, fine with me. She reaches below it. the counter, she whips up your drink, slides it down the table to you, enjoy. And I at, take my time drinking it because I am not As longer. the moment you lay hands on your drink, you look up and she winks at you. Oh. I smile at her. She spiced the drink a bit. <laughs> this bitch drugged me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just strong. <laughs> I look. I look. You take a Wait. sip and you're like, whoa. whoa. I, I I take one sip and I cough. I cough very slightly. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh yeah, I should have mentioned. Um, our alcohol is much, much different. Than anything else you would have drank for. Well, I'll probably drink this for the rest of the night. Good day. Alrighty, let me know if you get hungry. Look, I should probably eat before. What, yeah, what sure kind of food do you have at... actually? Yeah, sure. It just yeah. looks and says, "You know what? I'll, I'll have what she's having." Yes, I look behind me. I look behind me and cheers towards you. She reaches below the counter and she hands you three different menus. One is pizza, or oh, different assortments of pizza. One is an assortment of salads and steaks. And the third one is a bunch of desserts, and on the back side of that is seafood. Oh, seafood! I want pepperoni pizza. Okay. She takes out a little notepad, writes down one pep pizza. Pep a pizza. Any? I have a pizza too. I'm curious how the pizza tastes in this world. All right. Two pepperoni pizzas. Would you like anything else to go with those? Extra cheese. Hmm. <laughs> say extra cheese for me too. <laughs> Gotta make it nice and cheesy. Extra cheese. If it's not dripping, it ain't cheesy enough. Make sure the cheese is dripping as well. All right. We're so right. weird. We're like the weirdest bunch. <laughs> Give me just a moment. She casts haste on herself, and she makes the pizza right in front of you. Oh. Oh. And she uh, she snaps her fingers. And her right hand catches fire. Oh, bitch. And, and look at her arm shock. She is going to cast Firaga on your pizza. Oh. oh. My character so casts Zebra out of curiosity. Out of curiosity. All right, give me a this sec. A... Straight up foodgasm. What the fuck? Your pizza becomes a lit with flames. It roars for half a second. She... Swings her hand over the fire, the fire goes away, and your pizza is done. 
Now, for you casting Libra, let me type that up for you. Faraga is the... You, you said Faraga, right? Mm-hmm. Faraga was the level 3 version of Fire? Mm-hmm. So it's Fire 3. Mm-hmm. Got it. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna make it a habit for my character to use Libra. So like whenever he uh he like closes his left eye and, and just leaves his right eye open, that's when he's using Libra. Alright. Finds out Faraga does six hundred points of damage. So it's the same music from yesterday? Mm-hmm. Gonna crank the volume up a bit. Fuck, I, f I forgot your character's name again. Mel? Was it Mel? Mel. Yeah. Mel. Okay. Wait, what's your character? Right here. Yashua. Oh. Okay, so I was thinking after after we're done getting our serving, we should uh go uh talk to uh the lovebirds over there. Oh my god, yes. See how they're doing. Then after, we should talk to uh, Adam and the Fire Goddess. Um, uh, <laughs> we should we should see if she's able to walk after. Well, let's see if she if she could walk straight after uh. After last night. After the eventful evening they had together. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was only a few hours ago, y'all. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, this is still the same Last day. Yeah, she's definitely not gonna walk straight then. Mm -hmm. I mean, you'll find out, but I typed You're sitting up. Where they forget how to stand up. I typed up the results of you using Libra and Angela. All right, cool. She's excuse me. Four fifty. Holding back. What? Pardon. <laughs> what? <laughs> I see 450 magic attack. Yeah. I can't take... <laughs> I can't take... <laughs> I swear, Yuki just wants to fight everyone and everything. Alright. See, you two, you two do have your drink and pizza, by the way. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, so, Thank like... You, <laughs> So, like, my character nearly chokes at the stats. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, strong, indeed. <laughs> he just plays it off. <laughs> I look at you, Ashwa, and start laughing. Angela looks, Angela looks at you, tilts her head, and gives a, <laughs> she gives a, don't try me type of smile. I look at Angela and smile. Thank you for the drink and food. Angela. And then my character just, like, <laughs> makes eye contact and just nods. <laughs> <laughs> Not an acknowledgement. <laughs> I turn to Joshua. Joshua, let us cheers for the night. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Takes one tiny fucking sip. <laughs> <laughs> just my character just folds the pizza and just downs it, just to calm down. <laughs> Panic eats. Panic eats. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, nice meeting you. I'm just uh, gonna go find the others. <laughs> just nervously walks away. <laughs> Yo, eyes don't, 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 don't even think about it. <laughs> Alrighty, she waves to you as you all walk away. Okay. I wanna approach. I like her. She's really nice, but oh no, all that firepower. I don't want to piss her off. I have a feeling if we do something bad, the mirror was not joking about. No, he was not. I could feel Wait a minute. Again. Wait a minute. She could easily be on the front lines if something were to happen, though. 
Oh, yes, thinking strategically, just in case we need her to fucking tank. <laughs> Is it because she doesn't hold back? That's why she's not in the front lines? Like, I, I don't know. If you get her friendship rank up, you'll find out. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Uh, we gotta prioritize that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, All right, you, I'm gonna sit move. on this chair. You can, you gonna can talk move, to uh, uh, two spaces two up in the line. Hmm? I was telling Yuki he can move up in the line. Oh, uh, okay. I thought that was a river in the middle. Okay, so let's talk to these two. How are you two doing? Hi, hi. Huh? Oh, hey, what's up? They both greet at the same time. Uh, nothing much. We just uh, we just got a drink and some pizza from Angela. Um, don't get it, by the way. See. Yeah, uh, she's a uh, an interesting person. Mm -hmm. Oh, how Angela's, are you guys doing? Angela's nice. She uh, she helped us get our bearings together when we first got here. Oh, Angela's a sweet. Oh, yeah, she's <laughs> she's great. My character's just nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you, um, yeah, she, uh, Tears trying to, like, keep her composure because just talking about Angela makes her happy and stuff. And Fiend speaks for her. Tears sees Angela as her mom while she's here. And she has a very, very close attachment to her. And Angela and Mayor both treat Tear like their own daughter. Oh, that's cute. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so you asked how we were doing? Yeah, you guys seem to be uh, in a hurry last time. I hope everything's okay. Oh, everything's fine. For now. For now. Oh, for now. And Tear, like, when she says for now, Tear side-eyes her real hard and like, don't. Don't even. Don't you dare. I'm already Seems nervous like enough is as is. <laughs> Would you guys like to talk about it, perhaps? Mayhem? Uh, well, after we had a delightful conversation before getting into other shenanigans, uh, I made Zips. the decision that I am going to debut my music tonight. <gasps> oh, bitch! Oh. Tonight! Oh, mm -hmm. let's go! Oh, that's fantastic. Uh-huh. And, uh, because I've decided to make that decision for myself, if you give me just a moment, Tear snaps her fingers, and she becomes engulfed in a very faint light for about half a second, and then when the light fades away, she's back. Oh my god, she had the fucking glow up. Oh! Yeah, this Jeez. is... This is what I actually look like. I've just used my a character spell. is just like tapping uh Mill's shoulder. Look, look, look! Her hair, her hair! Look at her hair! Gorgeous. <laughs> I've just uh, I've used a spell to conceal what I actually look like because, well, I was ashamed of myself and many other things. I don't want to talk about that right now. Ashamed, bitch, you look gorgeous. No, you're drop dead gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And Fiend takes a really loud sip of her drink. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fiend agrees. <laughs> she knows the truth. Fascinating, though. You're able to bend light to change your appearance. Yeah, it's uh, it's something I learned back home. I just never had a genuine use for it until I got here. Where I didn't Damn. want to look at my real self in the mirror. Huh. Mm. I mean, back home it was very difficult to bend light, even with the type of technology we have back there. Without magic, it would be pretty close to impossible, really. Mm hmm. Since so there's no magic in our world. Yeah, magic. 
does make things a lot easier to be fair like i didn't come from the most technologically advanced city in my world but with a little bit that we had it wasn't looked down upon to use magic every now and then that's a good thing i want to try to make her get up not tear fiend because we all know who got you know <laughs> hmm Hold oh, on. I, oh, I hold on. I'm getting the kit. I'm getting the names confused. This one is that's Tear, Tear, and this one's Fiend. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Yasha looks at Fiend and thinks, "Does she transform too?" Like oh, you know, out of excitement. You say you thought that in your head. You didn't say that out loud. No, he doesn't. But he wants to ask. Wait, okay. hold on, my character's straight forward, I got you. <laughs> Wait, so to your uh, technically you can kind of change your appearance based off of, like, bending light. Does that mean Fiend has the ability to do so as well, or is it just, like, at random? No, this is Fiend talking. No, I'm... I'm not the greatest with magic. The most I can do is make a little fireball, make a little spark of lightning. I can... I can pick up this couch, but as far as, like, oh? bending light to my will and changing my appearance, no, not me. I'm just the, I throw lightning spells, and I make weapons, and I like guns, and I'm the techno, I'm the technical one, she's the sparkly pretty one. Sparkly oh. pretty one. <laughs> my character chuckles. I know how to make this bitch get up. Before you do whatever you're about to do, uh, Fiend, you remember the dancer outfit from the Shadowbringers trailer? Oh, how can I forget? That's what Fiend is wearing right now. <laughs> like, they, they, they got, they got fancy for tonight, okay? Hmm. Can I be wearing a, the, <gasps> Riku, 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 I will- You okay? You. What was that? No, 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 listen, listen, Riku, I will pay you to wear Aerith's red dress from Final Fantasy VII Remake, please. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm wearing that. <laughs> I don't know why I fucking, like, gasped and Well, died. Well, my character doesn't have anything fancy, since when he transported, he didn't bring, you know, clothes, so he, he had to make do for what he got here. I, I mean... stole it from somebody. <laughs> is your in 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 universe? Just so you have to pack on I'm equipped. Is it like actually showing on your body, or is it just your regular clothes? Let's just say it's uh, it's like it should. Right before this event started, he just went out of his way to pick something out that's suitable for the occasion. Okay. I use the glamour over my falcon armor, so I think I'm still wearing my falcon armor. It just looks like it. Falcon Arbus on standby <laughs> mode for my character. All right, uh, you can you can move up another two spaces in the line. Uh, okay, so now you can do whatever you're about to do to make Fiend stand up. Fiend. Wait, no. Before I do so, um, I I take a few more sips of my alcohol because I can. So I, I hope get it doesn't make you tipsy. <laughs> no, it won't. I, I got up out of my seat. Fiend, would you care to share a dance with me? Huh? Oh. Oh, sure. She... I reach my hands out. She stands up, and she stumbles for half a second, <clears throat> but she composes herself. Sure thing. I look down and then <laughs> look at Yashua. <laughs> I'm always down like, for a dance. Okay, I and grab her. My arm. character just look at you with a thumbs up. You could do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I I grab her hand and take her for the dance. Floor. Where is the dance? Floor? Uh, there's enough space where you are, so you can just dance right. right there because there's a there's an event that's gonna happen in a little bit. Hmm. And I'm just. While all this is happening, my character notices Adam over here. Alright. 
and he excuses himself, you know, with respect, and moves over where Adam is while the three of you are, you know, enjoying yourselves. All right. Adam, good to see you. Hey, who? <laughs> your uh, your target practice eyes, right? What was your name yes. again? Yes. Yash Yashua. Yashua. Hey, how's it going? Good. How you doing? Did you get your body back? I sure did, thanks to your buddy. Uh. Ice. Yeah, that guy. Hmm. I can't. You look good. Yeah, I can't fly anymore, which sucks. Uh, I'm having some difficulty walking because I haven't been in the body for a thousand years. Uh, but I'm making do. I can't wait to get out of this stupid wheelchair, though. That, <laughs> that that's what I got my 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 fiery sweetheart over here for, ain't that right? And if it takes a a large large gulp of her drink and goes mm-hmm by the way uh for uh perspective on how ifrit looks to you yuki's character is seven feet tall ifrit is 10 of yuki stacked on top of each other so my character just looks up uh -huh. <laughs> at the ceiling So my character is like, oh, yeah, she's uh, gorgeous, all right. Mm-hmm. She sure is a keeper. Oh, Adam, stop it! You already <laughs> buttered me up earlier today with all your compliments. Fucking dude. Like, what do you What do you want from me? I haven't seen you in so long. I have to, babe. And if we just <laughs>, laughs her off. <clears throat>, laughs at him off. Like, oh, you stop. So, your, uh, your buddies are quite the interesting group there. If we're just talking to Yashua. Yeah, we are. Uh, we're still trying to get our bearings, but so far it's been <laughs> quite an quite an interesting trip mm -hmm. yeah I uh well I already figured out that you lot you're not, you're not from here uh, uh how, to, how to make this short the the energies of your spirits are entirely foreign to me so that lets me know that Y'all ain't from here. Don't know where you came mm -hmm. from, but hey, I'm happy you aren't, you know, tearing the place apart, helping people. It makes for some... Hmm... I don't want to say... I don't want this to come across as, as if I'm using y'all for entertainment, but... It is By a pretty, all means, don't hold back. It is a pretty good thing to see. You know, spice things up a bit, makes things hot. You know, but uh, yeah. Again, I'm so 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 happy you guys helped free Adam from that curse, and now I have my snuggle bunny again. Snuggle bunny. Even if I may or may not have nearly crushed him earlier, but we won't talk about that. Uh, right. My character just pats. Adam in the shoulder and just gives him a thumbs up. She's a keeper. Yep. Yep. <laughs> He's so depressed. No, 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 no. It's like that, like that really satisfied, happy yup. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yep. Like in days. Yep. <laughs> mm hmm. There is many unfamiliar faces around here, too. I should get myself acquainted with everyone here. I mean, feel free. Oh, before, it smells before, before, dancing over there. before you go, uh, Yashua, uh, forewarning, 
I do. Mm -hmm. I come from the world of espers, and all of my kind aren't as friendly and cordial like me. So, just as a forewarning, if you do run into any other espers, don't let your guard down. It would be a bad idea to do that when you first meet them. Is... Until, until you gain their trust, I'd be very careful. Not saying that all of them are like that, just some of them are. So your kin prioritizes power? Not so much prioritizing power. It's more along the lines of, do we deem that you're worth investing any time into, kind of thing. Action speaking louder than words, huh? Yeah. I can respect that. Thanks for the warning, I'll keep my eyes out for that. Yeah, I figured I'd let you and yours know. Just in case you do happen to run into one of us. Oh, by the way, um, mm -hmm. if you ever run into someone called Odin, be extremely careful. Because the moment you turn your back and he deems you unworthy, you're probably going to die. Odin is of one of two mindsets. Does he care? If so... He'll help you out. If he doesn't, he will just straight up kill you. Right. Straight to the point. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do I feel like? I'm going to run into this guy at some point. I mean, you won't be running into Odin for a long time, but I figured I'd, you know, plant the seed now. Yeah, you're just... Okay, Riku, planning our deaths already. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so... I recognize him... From... Previous engagements. I recognize him, but I don't remember from where. I don't know who that is. So, Poker, are you still dancing? Uh, she went BRB. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Yuki, All you right. can. You're at the front of the line now. All right. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what that. Yuki's gonna do. What can I get you tonight? Hello. Hmm. Hard to say. Can I see the menus as I just see this green motherfucker up here? <laughs> sure thing. She handed you the three menus that she <clears throat> handed Mel and Yashua earlier. <clears throat> Ooh, shit. Excuse me. Does it cost anything? Uh, no, because I forgot to charge the other two. Uh, oh. It's that shame that I'm about to spend money. <laughs> and so, uh, as I as the, uh, I'm going to ask her, how much would it cost to make a banquet for everybody here? Welcome back. Banquet Welcome back for everybody here. Yes. Drinks included. <laughs> Drinks included. Hmm. She's number crunching in her head. Uh, hmm. I would I say that, that would be about. We're about to find out either it's low or I'm about to go poor. Either or. <laughs> Without to include drinks, are you adding desserts as well? Uh, well, it's either cost first, then I'll decide. <laughs> trying yeah. to empty out your pockets already. <laughs> If you want to make a, if you want to make a banquet including food and drinks for everyone, 
Only about... 11,000 gil. And how much would adding dessert be? Uh? That would be another 1,500. 15? Okay, oh yeah, 15. Uh, I was like, I was just 1,500. I was just 15,000. Oh god. That'd be some so. prime... Some, some fucking 10 out of 10 dessert shit. So 11,000 is the original cost, right? Mm-hmm. Plus 150. Oh, uh, 1,500. Yes. Yes. So you're buying... Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> yes, I am. I just need to subtract it from my amount and then plot some more. <laughs> Okay. Yes, I'm about to go broke again like the bum I am. <laughs> <laughs> I oh give God. her... Fuck, I already forgot the amount. <laughs> You're giving her uh, 12,500 gil. Give me two seconds. I have a better way to do this. I'm going to give her... You don't have enough money to give her, and you give her your axe. And I'm gonna gonna look, yes, I'm gonna that one. And I look at it like, keep the rest as, t as a tip <laughs> for oh. your service. Well, damn, all right. <laughs> my, 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 look at you, Mr. Moneybags. Yes. For uh, my, as I think of the back of my mind, for my money bag now, back to the bum life I go. <laughs> well, I thank you very much for your generous, generous heart. I'm going to go ahead and get started on this order. Barkeep, I need your assistance, bro. Sure I'm thing, boss. I regret nothing. And uh, she snaps her fingers. She casts haste on herself. She casts mirage on herself. And suddenly there are four of her. Oh. I get so take it. <laughs> and she gets to work making those, oh. making those meals. She'll be done in about... Two interactions with different people. Oh. Awesome. Just gonna move my way here. As free or if I can sit with her. Uh, uh, uh as you walk by Mayor, he just gives you a really a really bright eyed thumbs up. <laughs> uh oh hey, yeah, sure, I can take the seat and I'm just sitting here by myself. Yes. Hey, I wanna, I wanna thank you again for helping me get my pupils back. I, I'm really appreciative. I, they're so sparkly, and I, I look like I have actual eyes now instead of just empty voids. Yeah, it's so big. I lost my eye once before. I lost both of my eyes once before. Painful. My character just spits his drink. Oh, what? <laughs> he heard that comment all the way from over there. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I lost my eyes. Some time ago when one of the wars. These are just replacements. Yeah, war do that to you. Yeah. It'd be nice if they, them. you know, didn't happen, but people are weird. Yeah. Spent like a hundred years or so blind. Oh, wow. About the best time. I can't I imagine being know. blind for that long. Well, time flows differently for me. Oh, my world, so... Might not be as long for you. As I did... I'm pretty sure that's like, what? 36,500 years? Eight days? Yeah. I was blind alive for a long time. Man, I... How did you go about doing stuff like that? Like... What? Please. Elaborate. Well, in our world, we had animals to help us see things. And I had a good old faithful dog to help me, guide me around. Oh, wow. That's a service dog. That's interesting. We don't, well, at least here in the village, we don't have those. But I'm pretty sure those are uh, um, in one of the cities south from here. Or is it east? I don't know. I'm bad with directions sometimes. All I have to say is rip whoever left. <laughs> uh, 
Poker's having electricity problems. He'll be back. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like I said, I died of old age. Oh. So, actually, I was with the dog when I lost my eyes. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Well. Hey, hey, hey. Holy shit, those guys are going fast. Wow. Sorry about that. Just a bunch of sirens. I mean, you don't have no any... motorcycles. I know. You don't have any control over that, so it's no biggie. Um, yeah, I uh, when I lost my eyes, well, when I lost my pupils, uh, I can still see, but it's kind of like okay. that's annoying. I'm huh. shutting my windows. I could see, I couldn't see through the center of my eyes, but I could still see, you know, the spaces around that. But now that I have pupils again, it's it's a little strange being able to see everything without having to turn my head all the time. Yeah. That is sad, Nicole. Yeah. By the Sorry way, about that. that that beard of yours. Yes. It's really cool. Yes. It was, it was better at one point, but now it's more controlled. Oh, As wow. I stroke my our hands the right <laughs> like an old man in about past life. <laughs> but I feel like you you're 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 hiding a dagger inside that beard. No, it's another fist. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, my my dad had a really long beard. His went well, if he didn't tie it up, his would go all the way to the to the ground. And sometimes he could use it as a scarf. It was that long. Huh. That's probably problematic with doors and such. I mean, he... Well, speaking of doors, he had such control over his beard that sometimes he used it as an extra arm. It was weird at first, but then I got used to it. What type of magic? <laughs> Do you know how he did it? Um, the skill you can pick up ice. <laughs> uh, um, I think I have it in a book somewhere. I don't. I can't remember it right now. I see. Oh, maybe for a different time. Yeah. By the way, uh. Why are there four of Angela over there? Oh, yes, my my order. I ordered food, essentially ordered food and drinks for everybody. Fiora just free, like she she blanks out for a moment. Uh, thank God I have two stomachs in me. How much <laughs> did that cost? How much indeed? <laughs> As I blank my mind, and I forgot that when I threw that, <laughs> you pull out an empty pouch of gill and you just shake, and nothing comes out. <laughs> just a moth. I gave her fourteen thousand five hundred gill, plus tip included. In that my mount. Wow, that was really nice of you. Yes. Well, good thing I have the the stomach equal <clears throat> equal to that of a canyon. I'm still hungry. You look down the table and you notice about six plates of food. Like, no. Six plates of food that have been cleaned. Like, the plate is shining. And they're all stacked on top of each other. Damn. Damn. I can sell these plates. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be my new living now. <laughs> selling used plates. Oh my god. <clears throat> All right. Uh, there'll, there'll be one more interaction before the food is finished. All right. So, who's gonna interact? Poker. Still dancing. Um, <laughs> dancing, but I think. Sorry. <laughs> I think I'm done. I look at. <laughs> I look at Fien. Oh, uh, with my. Like, I just look at Fien panting. 
crazy. I'm just like, okay, I think I'm done dancing for the night. <laughs> You're about to collapse. Well, I wouldn't too. I wouldn't be too sure about that because uh, I. I have a feeling you're gonna be up and moving again pretty soon. Oh, great, there's gonna be a fucking foreshadowing. Okay. <laughs> I eat my pizza to regain my energy. <laughs> <laughs> my pizza's already gone, and so is half my drink. I, I chuck my drink. I chuck my uh -huh. drink, but for some reason I seem drunk. No. No. You need. And I'm like, huh? You need more <laughs> than that. You needed a casket by the whole barrel. <laughs> Imagine. Mm -hmm. Imagine I actually do it and down it all. <laughs> Riku, oh I have a question to ask. Uh huh. This character here, does he have the same personality traits as uh, his previous worlds? Watch like his other find character. out. Because if I remember, he also he also liked using firearms. Why don't you talk to him to find out? Alright. Swiggity swooty. <laughs> As you approach him, you see you see him tinkering with something on his wrist. Oh. He looks A up. prosthetic. Do Do I know you? Not yet, no. Just came to... Just came to talk. Trying to get to know everyone here. He gives you a... A half... <clears throat> a half blank stare. Huh. Cool. Uh, I'm Z. Nice to meet you. Likewise, I'm Yashua. Do you mind if I take a seat? Uh, yeah, let me just move my tools and shit out the way he he wipes all of the uh screwdrivers and gun parts off the table and into his tool bag and he puts the bag by his feet that's all right you don't have to do all that i don't want to uh distract you from your maintenance work nah nah it, it, it it's cool man auntie angela is going hard over there in the kitchen so i figure i'm about to be eating again real soon oh so, sides i've been here all day making sure everything works making sure the lights are good the fountain's working the music system is all working and whatnot it was a bitch fixing that piano though uh -huh. so you're a mechanic or an engineer of sorts uh more or less where I come from, they call us techies, and, uh, yeah. Huh. A techie. Technology. Yeah, I'm That's so team. different from where I come from. Really? You one of those people from another world, too? Yep. Oh, well, that makes two of us. That devourer bastard, right? Yeah. Yeah. If if only if only we saw him coming, he will. We we will probably hit him with an antimatter discharge. But you know, he just appeared. Our radars and sensors didn't pick up anything. Just just came into existence. Yeah. Well, regardless of whatever technology you have, you can't really be prepared for a fucking dimension hopping dragon to just kill everything and eat your world cause tr trust and believe had I had the tech to see that son of a bitch coming I probably would have you know still died but I, I would have at least been able to hurt the bastard I think well we were we were developing wormholes but it wasn't ready when he came in you were, there. you were just developing wormholes? Yes. To travel to other worlds. But we were too late. Huh. Oh, I mean... Where I come from, we already had all that shit. I think. 
Did we? No, no, no. I'm thinking of, uh... Fuck, what was that? Some game hearts something. Whatever. We were working on a technology to make that stuff. And we got real close. Real close. What, something similar to virtual reality? Uh, we already had a virtual reality down to the T. We were... We were working on stuff like space travel and shit. Ah. Interstellar travel, yes. Yeah. You take a look at his wrist, and it appear it looks like a watch, but uh, upon further inspection, you see a button, a very obvious button, that looks like it'll cause to change forms. So my character just looks at it and asks, so you have a combat mode as well? Uh, I mean... Yeah, like if I press this button here, he press the button, and his watch quite literally turns into a Mega Buster with a scope attached to it. And if I press this one here, it turns into a, a wrist mounted machine gun. And then if I press this one here, it turns into a shield. My character's eyes just shines with excitement. Oh, ha! Uh, you don't perhaps have extras you want to sell? Uh, extras? Almost. Uh, it took me like a year and a half to make this thing, and I'm halfway done with the other one. Plus, it's. <sighs> it's really, really fucking expensive to make. And yeah. it's heavy as shit. And I have to make sure I cast a, about six different spells in my hair so my hair doesn't get dirty or messed up. I put too much fucking effort in this. To... Anyway, yeah, I won't have another. Excuse me, I won't have another one for a long, long time. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I wanted to get myself one of those. Well, I'll, I'll eventually craft some craft something <laughs> like that. My character is just looking at it. I don't think I'll be able to, but uh, I don't have that kind of engineering skills. Yeah, where uh, where I come from, I came from. A village where uh, everyone wanted to be a lazy cunt and do nothing but use magic all the time. And oh, there was magic in your world too. Yeah, and I wasn't with that, so I left. Decided to dick around with music for a bit. I got into uh, a situation that shouldn't have fucking happened, but it happened. I essentially dropped out of college. Continued with music. Uh, started messing with technology and machinery and whatever. And then my cousin handed her company over to me. And then before I realized it, I was at the top of the weapons development chain. Huh. Yep. And then everything went to shit. What happened? Uh, well, people decided they wanted to try me, and after one too many failed sieges on my company and my people, uh, they decided that they were going to get the government involved, even though the government was on my side, and then there was this faux legal mumbo jumbo going on. And then, the day of the final trial, that was when the Devourer showed up. Ah. Uh, yeah, politics will do that. Yep. 
It says those bastards were gonna lose anyway. They were the ones attacking me. All I did was tell them to get the hell out. <laughs> Anywho. So, what's your story? And why do your eyes have targets in them? <laughs> they make some pretty good damn sniper targets now. Oh. Yeah. I guess they do. I, I have no idea why my eyes are like this. But I've uh, found out that my eyes became like this when I looked at my own reflection by the time I got here. Usually my eyes were just pale and blue. Now they're just strange. Interesting. Perhaps, perhaps it has something to do with my background. Since, uh... My family is militarized. Oh. We all served. We all had different kinds of services. We all specialized in one thing or another. I myself was a pilot and was also a marksman. Interesting. So that means you're pretty good with a gun, huh? Yeah. Though sometimes, I don't know, it's really hard to keep up with all the magical things that happened here. So I try my best to keep my senses sharp. Since uh, all, all living things kind of have a little cheat on them. Yeah, well, take it from me. I've been here for about, uh, about 15 Palamecian years. You get used to it faster than you think you will. Just. Well, I certainly do hope so. I'm trying my best to train my eyes. It won't take too long once your body completely adjusts to the magic surrounding this place. Besides, magic. As much as I gave my village shit for it. Ain't that bad. Not bad at all. Speaking of things that aren't bad. Since you say you're good with the gun. I travel a lot. As I you know, mentioned. I was in the weapons business. And more often than not. I uh, sell my wares. Have people test things. So if I ever see you around another village or city, perhaps, come find me, or I'll find you, and uh, we can work something out. All right. I'm okay with that. Testing out some weaponry. Yeah. The one thing that'll be a dead giveaway, and you'll know it's me, the hair. Yeah. Very stylish. Yep. This yeah. Is, this is one of one of two crowning things that I put a lot of effort into. Yeah, I yeah, I used to uh have long hair like that, but <laughs> uh eject ejection seats and long hair are not a good combination. Yeah. That uh Something to get your head snatched off. <laughs> no, not that. It more like nearly, nearly burned me bald. Or that. Energy yeah. impulse. We 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 don't use uh uh. What what were those things called back in the day? They had a lot of gunpowder in them. It was a old ejection seat where they use a type of explosive. What in the hell? I mean, yeah, the the bottom part of the seat had blast shielding to prevent uh, shrapnel from killing the pilot, but <laughs> in my generation, we just had a uh, we had there two types of ejection seats. We either uh, use a uh, uh, what what were those things called? It's a uh, an energy pulse that just 
sends you flying upwards, or the other one just had a teleportation device, which, if you were really unlucky, you would end up getting teleported in random regions of the world, or how one of my relatives got teleported in space. Huh. It, w it was a prototype. There was no way to control it until later on. Yeah, that does sound like a pretty crazy prototype. Well, uh, pilot safety was number one priority, as dumb as it sounds. Huh. Sure. As, as right after Zero says, sure, <clears throat> you hear Angela shouting from <clears throat> the kitchen. All right, everyone. Thanks to uh, this very generous gentleman over here. It's a lot of food, so come and get what you want. Don't leave any mess, and uh, you should eat all your food. Because if you don't, I don't know. I'll You're do something gonna with die. It. Enjoy. I'm gonna go take a break. Angela, okay. leap the the four Angelas consolidated back into one Angela. And she takes a seat next to Mayor. And they're just vibing. And because all, well, of, all of you are eating now. Well, I guess that's our cue. To grab um, some more food. My character gets okay. up and shakes hands with uh, a new acquaintance. Well, nice talking to you. Same. See you around. See ya. <laughs> I um, I look like I look. I, 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 I look at Fian and Tear and ask if they want anything from the bar. Uh, <clears throat> hang on, one second. Pulling out the script. No, I'm typing out what Angela's masterpiece does for you all. This is a permanent food oh. bonus. Oh! Damn, Angela really said you're all eating good tonight. Well, thanks to Ice buying food for everyone. Gave us a free buff. <laughs> Man uses gun to rob a Texas convenience store. Man was shot by every customer inside the store. What? You say you were asking the ladies what? Damn. I asked if they wanted anything from the store. I mean, from the bar. Um. If you happen to see any pictures of rolling berry juice, could you bring one of those over? I don't want to do. eat or drink too much before I have to go uh, perform. <laughs> I look at it to your. You're gonna be great. Here. I'll go up and see if there's any raspberry juice for you guys. Pum, 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 pum. Angela, do you have any raspberry drinks that I can offer to you over here? Um, darling, what's a raspberry? Oh, rolling berry. Rolling berry. <laughs> oh, have you. Look I'm at a little the, bit. Look, at the, look over at the table behind me on the. Bottom left corner, there's a picture of rolling berry juice, freshly squeezed. Ooh. Is it non-alcoholic by any chance? Yes. Okay, great, great. I grab two and go back to the table. Give it to Tear. Alright. And then that? I went all the way back. <laughs> Wait, where the f and uh, stand by Yosh. All right. High five. Clap. That's Clap. Like grab, making friends. Everything. So, I was thinking we should talk to uh, these characters over here. Ooh, that's true. They, a lot of uh, new faces here today. Yeah. Okay, let's. But go. they're teenagers. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> 
imagine. It's okay. As adults, they perhaps look up to us. Hopefully. <laughs> see, you see, you see, this is what makes Yashua very unique. He looks incredibly young for his age. Oh. I mean, How old are eyes. you? <laughs> that speak. What? Mm. As I said, those eyes. Eyes look young for his own age. Yeah. <laughs> Technically. Yeah, but you have a beard, though. You're like thousands of years old. You're a demigod, aren't you? What? I was down one of each food. But no. <laughs> no. I did my math wrong. I, why the fuck did I divide? <laughs> what the fuck did I divide? That's why I love talking to you. <laughs> I, I went to go multiply 60. I divided and it popped out 152. It's like, that is not my speed, <laughs> bitch. <it." laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Very nice. You can do, you can do one interaction before uh, things progress. Okay. Damn. Bum, 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 it's bum. just okay. So, my dilemma here is that I enjoy talking to this character because I feel like he's gonna be a huge help later on. Mm -hmm. But there's also this guy I'm curious about. This guy that I missed my chance talking to because I forgot he was there. Was and then the there's this huge group up here that I wonder what's going on up there. Also, they're very mm -hmm. familiar characters, too. Mm -hmm. And you have Mike in the corner. And and then you have Ice <laughs> over here. I need to talk to Greg. Ricky, you can't do this. Okay, you know what? Since, uh, since I picked the last interaction, uh, Mill, you pick. Poker, you pick. Hmm. It's okay, I have a feeling that these characters are going to be important for this part of the story, so I can talk to Greg some other time. Alright, let's do it. Hello? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to fucking approach teenagers. Hey, yo. I yo. am one. <laughs> <laughs> but I still don't know how. Oh, just... uh, okay. Hey, what's up, guys? How are you doing today? Oh my god. <laughs> Listen, well... I have nothing to do. Huh? Oh. Uh, hey, what's up? How are you? How's it going? Uh, oh, pre pretty good. Just wanted to come over and say hi. Um, we, meaning Josh. Oh, nice Yo. to meet you. I'm Jeremy. Hi, nice to meet you, Jeremy. And <laughs> I'm <copyrighted>. Mel. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mel. Uh, this is Aylita. This is Odd. Over there is Yumi. And the guy who wants to fake brood by himself, even though he's with us as a group, is Ulrich. Mmm. Pleasure to meet you guys. I can take all of them at once. Anyway. <laughs> I ain't against writing teenagers. I was gonna fucking throw a piece of bread at fucking Yuki from this part. <laughs> Dome him in the head. <laughs> uh, I, him. I'm assuming you guys are new here because we've never seen you in an angelus place before hmm? yeah we arrived four or five days ago yeah around that oh are you are you the group who uh had their world destroyed too uh yeah <laughs> oh yeah well I guess we're as good well we <clears throat> the five we were born here so we don't really know anything about other worlds but that's cool huh yeah it's um it's pretty fun actually um to come from a place that had no uh, magic to coming to a place with complete magic it's um a big change huge change very massive change <laughs> you guys didn't have magic where you came from no we had electricity that was the most magic we had <laughs> Sorry, sorry. the 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 only cat the only kind of magic we had was called science. Oh, we had yes. to create our own magic. Oh well, I mean, science exists here too, and it's usually accompanied by magic. Do you? Oh. Do you think you could uh, maybe tell us about your world sometime? And as Jeremy yeah. says that, odds like, hey, Einstein, you doing it again? Chill out. What? I just want to know, and I lead it like Jeremy. 
He's like, alright. Alright, I'll chill out. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Honestly, I don't mind. Whenever, uh... Whenever we have the opportunity to talk more, we'll... We'll talk about our past and our world. Mm-hmm. We'll definitely come back and tell you guys all about... Earth. <laughs> you come... The place you come from is called Luthania. Lufania. Lufania, my bad. Lufania, yes. Lufania. Okay. Well, I'd love to ask you more questions, but it looks like uh, Angela is about to kick things off. You say that oh. she she walks by you all to the stage area. It was a pleasure oh, meeting you guys. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> Angela casts a spell and she grows in size a little bit. Holy Please. shit. <laughs> <clears throat> my character just chokes on his drink. <laughs> Where's my Long Island when I need it? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, fire gods. She winks at Ifrit when she says that. My <laughs> loving husband over there. She gives a really long long wink at mayor after he says that one my lovely daughter and her lovely partner welcome wait what wait who's her daughter did you forget oh, the yeah. part where i said <laughs> that mayor and Mayha. Angel... yeah Mayha. anyway so i hope you all have gotten your fill there's plenty more food all around thanks to this gentleman over here. And uh, I believe it is time to kick off the festival proper. And what better way to do that than with some performances. So, if you don't mind, we are going to have the show open with our regular opener. <clears throat> A mother... And the young man trying to court her daughter. Oh. Out of the way, I'm going to move aside. And I'm going to let them take the show. And as she moves aside, there's a couple of uh, explosions of light happening from where she was just standing. And when the light dissipates, there are two individuals. They look at the crowd. They look at each other. They yeah. ever so slightly rise into the air. And then they start having a rap battle. What? And as those two get to having their little rap battle performance, rap before, battle. You, before you realize it, uh, everyone in the bar or tavern is rising out of their seats and dancing in place. Uh -oh. Every, everyone, and I literally mean everyone, like Greg and Alex included, they're just vibing out and having a good time. If you guys want to, like, you know, move around and dance to and from people, you can. Hmm. Damn. No love interests, I can see over here. <laughs> uh, where's my love interest? Come on. No. I was hoping for a side quest from these teenagers, to be honest. You won't get it now. Hmm. Hey, Poker, I got an idea. Why don't we dance with these two? <laughs> I bet. Go, 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 go. Oh fuck, who do you want to take? <laughs> oh, I already danced uh, with Fiend, Fiend earlier, I'll take Tear. Alright, fine, I'll take, uh, Fiend. Tear, can I have this dance? Uh, sure, but, um, uh, yeah, we can dance. Hmm, what is she some kind of sus? I feel like this is very sus that everyone is dancing, perhaps. You say sus, I feel like someone just got blocked. <laughs> <laughs> Yashua slightly bows 
and lays down in his hand and asks, Care to dance with me? Uh, normally I'd say yeah. But when the two openers finish their performance, Angela teleports herself back to the stage area and she's like, all right, everybody, shut up, sit down. It's time for my daughter to finally make her music debut. Get on up here. And suddenly <laughs> there's like explosions of light all around her and everyone's clapping and cheering her on. And she, for a half second, tries to run away. But <clears throat> uh, Fiend grabs her hand, looks at her like, you can do this. You've got this, girl. <laughs> and as Tyr makes her way to the stage, suddenly you see a lot of instruments and music equipment that wasn't there before. And they just, uh, they slowly fade into existence. Tyr casts Mirage on herself. Oh. And just like how Angela did, there are now four of her. And they're all... <clears throat> and they're all in control of a different instrument. What the fuck? Uh-huh. This bitch crazy. Imagine. She's insane. My character is just mesmerized right now. Like crazy in a good way, Rico. I know. Alright, so she takes really, really deep breath, and she's trying her best to calm her nerves. And she gets herself together, and she starts singing. Oh, the song. My character pulls out his cell phone and starts recording. <laughs> I look at her in awe. I need a better angle. <laughs> <laughs> First, it looks like she's trying to muster up the courage to move, but once he looks at all of you, the, the party, uh, her expression changes and she starts eventually moving in place in the song. Oh, I love this song. And Fiend is like screaming at the top of her lungs encouraging her telling her you got this I'm your biggest fan I don't care what anybody says <laughs> my character is just like oh, kind of whistling and saying no I'm your biggest fan we're just competing <laughs> I'm your biggest fan I take my dress off all you can see is Tyr's biggest fan <laughs> <laughs> Uh, look, all looking came over to here. Angela and Mayor, you see them dancing with each other to the tune of uh, Tears Song. Hmm. Yo, you gotta link me this song after. It's on inspired. I will. <laughs> put it in. Put it in FF chat. I will. Fuck yeah. Angela screams. This is my favorite part. And eventually, Angela, Mayor, and Fiend all start singing along with her. And then, before you realize it, uh, the entire tavern, uh, they don't know the song, but they're trying their best to sing along with Tear. <laughs> Here is starting to get more and more into it. She's starting to dance a little bit to the song. My character throws his phone in the air. It turns into a, a drone so he can get like better angles of the recording. <laughs> About to make a fan cam later. <laughs> Damn right. 
Hey, poker. I'm gonna open an Instagram page. Brother, it's your, it's your fan page. <laughs> I got you. I know how to edit. We make fucking fan cams. Alright, let's fucking go. I'm gonna open a Patreon, too. Alright, as, as she's getting more and more into her song, and now she's like actually like moving around a bit to it. Whoops. I'm just vibing with the music right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, like those little light explosions. She's casting spells to show, like, to put how much emphasis she is on trying to, you know, be better and really be about this. My character. And as the clone of her is like going hard on the piano, she's like slowly rising into the air. Oh, uh, when you said that, it said sorry. Yep, that was the goal. Uh. My character, low key, loads his uh, revolvers with like firecrackers and just no. shoots them in the background for display. Right? <laughs> I, I look at Yoshi one and think, good idea. I light my samurai sword on fire and start waving it around like it's a glow stick. <laughs> like a tribe dance? Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh. Um. Right. And now as he slowly descends back to the ground. She's looking around at the crowd. And as it comes to an end, she's like breathing really hard. She's shaking a little bit, but she gives a really big smile and she does a slight bow. My character puts puts away his revolver and just claps out loud. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, the, the entire tavern is like cheering and roaring and applause, and they're like, one more, one more, one more. Encore, 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 encore. And uh, she looks over to Fiend, and she like, like motions her to come over, and like, I need, I need your help with this one. And it's oh. just like, all right. And then you hear Angela and back on, those are my girls. Ooh, ooh, look at my baby. Oh, look at my baby. Tears of joy. And meanwhile, Mayor is just like happy crying. Oh, she's this is beautiful. Up so much. He's like, man, don't cry. But those are my daughters. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> this time the lights are gonna, they're gonna dim for a second. Like, she's gonna snap her fingers, an explosion happens, and everything gets, gets to be a little bit darker. Ooh, a more subtle. Mm -hmm. She taps her foot three times on the ground, and the next song begins. Oh... I fucking love Jubi Sonic. She's trying to, she's trying to hype herself up and get into it. Oh shit. This one kicks. So like, do I imagine uh, one of them being a DJ or something? With the record scratching? One of the clones, yeah. Fuck them. Oh, that Tyr and Finn are singing this at the same time, by the way. Oh! Oh! It's great. <laughs> and once the chorus kicks up, you see, like, a burst of flame from Ifrit, and she's just, like, super into it. Oh my god. Jeez. 
You could feel that from here. Uh-huh. I just like imagine one of the clones yeah, having like uh like like uh the fucking uh the deal with its sunglasses on and with with, with like a fucking, <laughs> uh, just hat just playing the fucking DJ. Mm -hmm. That's and hilarious. This song, uh, you can really like you can really feel the emotion coming off of tear, and her and Fiend are slowly maneuvering on the stage at the same time. Almost in like total unison. Oh my god, I love this. And when when this section of the song begins, uh, you hear Angela just like jump into the air with so much force that it like shakes the ground a little bit Holy and shit. she's like she has this look of like determination on her face like yes yes you can do this and she's like she is quite literally like glowing at this point and so are tear and fiend it's almost like they're glowing so bright, you damn near need sunglasses to look at them. Oh my. Yashua's eyes just adjust to the brightness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when she did that scream, there's like beams of light just coming out of her all over the place in every direction. Holy shit. This is great! I can these, I don't know why I can These all definitely it. destroy the concerts back at home. <laughs> and I'm not gonna again, lie, magic is pretty great. And once again, oh, yeah. the tavern is loud and a praise and applause and they're like you, you hear someone go, I never thought she was capable of any of this. And in re in reply, you hear, well, you just underestimated my daughter, didn't you? Watch yourself <laughs> before I throw you out of here. Oh, bitch. damn. And, and... Appropriate response. And the guy's like, yes, ma'am, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> and... Tia says... Ah. She's like trying to catch her breath, but she says to the crowd... I got, I got one more song in me, and then I'm gonna go take a break, and then you hear Angela, and then we're gonna get started on your record deal, honey. <laughs> and she's like, but, but uh, mom, nope, I don't want to hear it. Record deal, Smitty. <laughs> All right, last song. Yashua shouts, "Do you do you take pre-orders? <laughs> Debit or credit? We can talk about that when we get there, lads." All right, last song she's going to do. Ooh. Oh, I love this song. Oh, Astro Chain. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is Fiend. She start, she's starting the song off. Ooh. Yeah. And Fiend Yo, is legit, also, song is fire, also dancing me. to it. And then Tear is gonna join her right now. And... I imagine this in very anime format. Oh yeah, like with this song, they are quite literally like teleporting in unison all over the place. Like they're super into it. And you can tell that uh, Tear is finally like, she finally has the courage to be her actual self and go out and do things now. So 
and my character, you see your character, she definitely has what it takes to be an adventurer. And you can, you can even hear Adam, like, hyped up, shouting in joy. Get it, girls. Proud of you two. Even if I just met you. <laughs> even if I just met you. Fuck my stomach, dude. <laughs> And suddenly, when the second chorus begins, you see Isora just like doing literal backflips to the song. And then you see Why Angelo sure? run to the front of the crowd, a uh, mayor in tow, literally like dragging him by the arm because he was caught off guard. And they're just like, they're just overflowing with support for her and at, when they're saying this part Tyr and Fina are like looking at each other and singing the song, the lyrics to each other it's not that is this how it's meant to be and once again they are slowly rising into the air And then their voice starts booming all over the place. Their music is like shaking the entire freaking yes, tavern. Yes, the, the entire tavern is shaking at, at their intensity. I started screaming. <laughs> of joy, nothing like panic. Uh huh. Those are all three of the songs she was going to do. Fire. Absolute fire. Tyr is very, very clearly exhausted. And you can tell that she she pushed herself far, far beyond her limits of what she would normally do. And she looks over at Mel, Yashua, looks at Ice, and she just gives you like the biggest smile that she can muster. And the smile is so great that once again, you swear for like half a second the sun is shining right behind her. Must protect. And I I literally am like too bright sunglasses. <laughs> and because of that, I wink at her and smile back. Clap. And because well this is a grand accumulation of everything you've done related to these two up to this point. Uh, your compassion ring starts glowing in incredibly pink light, and it changes form. And oh. it is now an empathy ring. Oh. So now, oh. instead of getting... The, the regen value changed. So now, instead of re regenerating 5 HP at the end of your turn, uh, you now regenerate 50. And Damn. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you become when you become friends with someone, whenever you decide to visit a village where that particular person will be, if there's an opportunity where you can go out and have a a, a side event with them, your ring will glow. Into us. Now I fuse the clones back into tier. Whoops, that's not what I want to do. Yeah. Uh, while the actual tier is trying to catch her breath and whatnot, the clones are waving and saying thank you, everyone who showed up, as they gradually fade away. Oh, right. The ladies are going to... Well, kind of hurts to see the clones disappear like that. Tyr is going to staggeringly walk over to her seat. And while also saying, you know, thank you for being here and encouraging me and whatnot. 
and Angela takes the stage again, makes herself grow in size a bit again, and she says, can we get another round of applause for my brave, brave, brave daughter? The entire tavern erupts in cheers and joy and happiness. And they're like, and then Angela says, the show's not going to end here. Now we've got another set of performers coming up. These two are, well, they're new to both the village and the festival. And this is their debut single. Ladies, if you Ooh. don't mind, please take your places. And the two ladies, they, they make their way up to the stage. But, ooh, they do not give off a friendly vibe at all. Like, oh, oh. I already like them. <laughs> Damn. Oh, Jesus Christ. And they look at the crowd. They grab their instruments. And... I'm getting a serious metal vibe out of those two. That's what my character says. <laughs> they get to playing. Once I find the damn song, I don't know where I put it. Uh, here it is. <clears throat> This isn't the the <clears throat> the cream colored hair girl speaks. This isn't gonna be very long. It's just like a minute of it or whatever. And she looks to her her bandmate. You ready? Bandmate nods. Tap to feet three, two. Let's fucking go. Pay, pay, pay very close attention to the lyrics. I probably won't because I've heard this song so many times. Can I roll a perception? Something seems very suspicious here. Go for it. I was gonna have you do that anyway. We're gonna fucking die! <laughs> We're gonna fucking die. I already have a hunch. I had a hunch at the start of this session. Although it's all festa. Hmm? Uh... You get the feel- <laughs> Wow! Um, okay, hold on, let me put this on repeat so I can explain, Jesus. So, um, Mel, <laughs> based, Yo, off of your, based off of your god-tier perception role, uh, you decide to hard focus on the lyrics, and you start to think, are these two of the heroes that came here before us and then oh. you think what happened for them to such to, for them to write such dark and hopeless lyrics Jesus Christ I so these are the heroes that came before us and well, you don't you don't know that you think that I think that so therefore I need to find out um I look at Tyr and Fian ask Who are these people? Uh, if either of us had the answer to that, we th we've never seen them before. Uh, mm. I think, Something's not right with those two. I think Mom might have spoken to them because otherwise they wouldn't be performing right now. So she probably knows who they are. But their music makes me a, a little uncomfortable. Hmm. I go towards. I slowly walk towards Angela to avoid suspicion and whisper in her ear. In her ear, my bad. Um, Angela, do you know who these people are? Ah. Uh, well, their names are, uh. What I put it? Uh. 
she pulls out a piece of paper. Uh, the one singing, her name is Ash. And the one with the guitar with the crazy eyes, her name is Drava. They approached me not too long ago saying that they heard that there'd be a festival going on and they wanted to perform their debut song. And I didn't think anything of it, I let them go through. They seemed pretty uh, pretty normal to me, but something's, something's not right with their lyrics. They're, they're too dark. I'm, it's almost like emotional whiplash right now, going from this exponential high to this deep, hopeless dark. I'm, I'm gonna keep my eye on those two. I give a nod to her, as in my character just literally has his guard up now. the song goes on, the more and more Angela's eyes begin to squint in anticipation that something might happen, and she is like, she has, she has so high of a guard up that you can like, you can feel her aura, Angela, or is coming off of her. Like, she, she is prepared to fight if she has to. Wait, what did you say at the end? She is prepared to fight if she has to. Mm. Very. Can I find anything out by rolling something, Riku, or do I have to wait? Hmm. You can roll insight. Do we both roll it? You can. Hmm. Okay. With your insight roll, Poker, mm. uh, you start to think to yourself, they, this is either the vibe of music that they're going for, or they have so little hope in anything and everything that has to be the direct result of something that, have, that has happened to them. And mm. you you also think that the that there might be some magic involved with the music because you suddenly feel a slight chill on your spine. Danger. Danger. Danger, and, danger. Excitement. Uh, Yashua, with your role, you think to yourself that uh, something's not right in the head with them, or uh, there's something wrong emotionally with them. I'm gonna let the song play one more time after this, and then. <clears throat> oh shit, keep moving. <clears throat> All right. Damn, this song really is dark. You know, but it's really nice. Yeah, like I like how she's shredding the guitar, but. When Dreva, the black-haired girl, shouts out the roses part, she looks sh straight into Mel's eyes. Oh! <laughs> and when she says, evil will never ever die, she looks at Yashua, and eventually ice. So with that foreshadowing. Mmm, <laughs> fire and ice. Into us. Well, I feel like they know who we are. We're not looking for more than I. That's how I would like to be. Yeah. Oh, time to begin the good old interrogation. <laughs> I 
This will be the last time, last time the song will play before things continue moving along. If there's, if there's anything you would you think you should do, you can. I'm gonna use Libra on those two. Can I do that? Yeah, you can. Which one's the vocalist? This one? This one. I think you a note to myself. Note to self. Get anti-Libra equipment. <laughs> Yeah, there's no such thing. <laughs> you assume there's no such thing. Oh, I played a lot of Final Fantasy. The 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 only time when Libra doesn't work is our on bosses that you first encounter. Well, there's, there's a well, Final <laughs> Fantasy slash D and D campaign. We could, could I I don't like that inside the game. He could. And then I'll buy it. Did you see what I typed? Yep. Oh no. Yep. Okay. Huh? Great. It's a boss. We got that assumption. I, boss. I, to my surprise, I literally just walk up to a uh, mill and what's Angela? her name again? Angela. And uh, I tell them in a low voice, "This isn't good. I can't read those two. It sounds perfect they're, to me, though. I think we need to start preparing. Our they're uh, maybe in a. They're messing with my eyes. As you say that, uh, Angel, one of Angela's eyes quickly flicker with fire on the inside of them. And she's like, don't worry. You just, you just take it easy. Mm. All right. Uh, they finish their song and they look for a seat. And they decide to sit over yonder. Uh. They're, uh, not, yes. they're not talk. They're not talking to Tyr and Fiend. They're just talking amongst themselves. Right. Perfect setup. <laughs> I know. All right. Angela takes the stage again, and she says, "Well, that was an interesting performance." Now let's get a round of applause for those two. And before our next set of performers come up, let's uh let's get another round of drinks and snacks on to everyone. On me. Or rather, she looks over to the table. Uh there's still plenty of food left thanks to Mr. Ice over there. You all take it easy. You two come with me. Uh yeah. And she motions to Ice to come over too. Uh, no, it's my time to leave. Uh, okay. <laughs> Where is why she? are they standing in front of my bitches? Uh uh. I'll appro I'm approaching them. <laughs> uh. Okay. Can I um, help you? Name Green Arrow! Very interesting Green song Arrow. choice you have there. Yeah, what yeah, about yeah. it? It's, it's the first time I've seen you guys around here. Who are you guys? <laughs> That's a need-to-know basis. Ah. Oh. You, oh. you heard our names on stage. That's all you need to know. Mm. Can I roll perception on them? Go for it. Oh. Oh, well, I said yeah. Yeah, my mm. quick week here. What do you say, Yugi? I'm gonna send you something in your DMs right quick. What the fuck is your DM? There it is. Oh, okay. Uh, you roll perception. And while you can't tell anything off rip from looking at her, uh, you, you do take notice of her horns. And you think to yourself, okay, so they're not human. No, oh, this one isn't a human. And Ash, <gasps> excuse me. Ash looks over, and she says, "Uh, so are you like interrogating us over our music or something?" 
Because if mm -hmm. you're gonna do that, then we we can do the same to everyone else here. Can't use <gasps> I just Isn't this awkward? <laughs> That's okay. awkward. Uh just make my way over there. I saw the look of the wife. It was like, yep, just me and you. My party has abandoned me to confront them themselves. <laughs> she means nothing of it. Don't mind her. Mel, come on. Oh, my also my bad. My brother was talking to me. <laughs> oh. oh. So I didn't kind of hear it like the last few phrases I should have oh. said. Okay, as, uh, all as Ash said was, if you're going to interrogate us over our music, we can do the same to her over there. Oh, okay. I mean, that's kind of true. I just wanted to make sure that you guys were okay because your lyrics came off as very depressing. <laughs> she scoffs and turns away from you. Ouch, that was your turn. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? My character just says, yeah, that was pretty metal. Uh, Mel, we're needed over there. Yeah, I'm gonna... Slide away. <laughs> uh, you ladies enjoy your evening. Yeah, I'm all like, guys. Jesus, I'm all like Jesus Christ, that was fucking nerve wracking. <laughs> that was something. All right. So, Angela is. Oh wait, gotta have to move Mayor. All right, move him there. I'm gonna move Poker over here. Okay, well, you three know as well as I know that some something's <sighs> something's not right with those two. Mm -mm. I don't know. I don't know what their baggage is. I don't know what their deal is. But there was something in their music. That really rode me the wrong way. I don't know if you guys felt it either, but there was a there was a slight a slight hint of magic laced all over that song. And I don't know if you saw anything, but I saw some very intrusive imagery. Nope. I didn't see anything. Mm. Oh, so I know this song pretty exhilarating type of tactic when I tried to take a look it felt like my eyes were about to burn mm. Angela she she's tapping her finger on the oh she's tapping her finger on the <laughs> pipe she's leaning on trying to come up with a plan just in case things go horribly horribly wrong and eventually mayor taps her on the shoulder and he says darling i don't think we have anything to worry about for now however in the event that something does happen i have already casted a portal spell on everyone's seat so you don't have to worry about evacuating everyone. It will be fine. And she looks at Mayor and she says, Okay. I just don't want anyone getting hurt, is all. Yes, yes, honey. I know. I know. Damn, I feel disoriented after trying to scan her. Hmm. But as they say, this is the calm before the storm. Um, before the storm. Yeah, I don't like how you're saying that, Ice. You may be onto something. But, as I was saying, it's usually to demoralize people and weaken them. I had a few enemies do it to me and my troops before. Oh, you have a lot more combat experience than I do. I was only a pilot. I was once a pilot, too. I was also a space monkey. <laughs> I 
my character just looks at you, just blinks twice, and just disregard, just disregard what you just said. <laughs> uh, over in the distance, over by Adam and Ifrit, Ifrit's flames are slowly growing hotter, no, no, not hot, brighter and brighter, as she's looking at the two, and she is quite obviously getting angry at them. Uh oh. Do we have fire extinguishers here? No. <laughs> Everything here is Ifrit proof. Damn. Ifrit proof. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Ifrit. Ifrit proof. This... <laughs> and uh, she's ever so slightly also growing in size again. Why, the f Why are they so loud downstairs? I'm sorry. Anyway. Just... I, I, I'm, I, I said that because I'm recording this, and I, I won't know if it got picked up in the recording until when I listen back to it. Anyway, uh, uh, Adam is looking and he's like, "Babe, babe, babe, babe." As I'm, as calm I'm down. Low. Calm down. And if it looks at Adam and she's like, "Okay, you're right. You're right. I just, I know." I may not be an Esper like you, but I can definitely feel that something ain't right with those two. Maybe it's because I've been a headless spirit for so long, but I'm sensing something, and it's not good. It's not good at all. Oh shit, wrong button. Is it my turn to talk to them? <laughs> Acrobatics, I, I do a flip. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can, uh, you can talk to them if you want. No, I looked to the one directly ask her, it's like, is it my turn to talk to them? Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna move my way on over. Give it two seconds. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to roll an acrobatics so I could just, you know, do like instant transmission over there where he's at. Uh, if only. Walk on over. I use stealth. Hello there, ladies. To all of them. <laughs> Not to just these two. Uh, Tyr and Fiend. Tyr and Fiend greet you, but you can sense the slightest hint of nervousness in Tyr's voice. And the other two ladies just look at you. Wait, what an amazing song. What an amazing song. Reminds me of my younger years. That jazz music fits so perfectly. <laughs> the younger years, uh, yeah. the the black haired one is talking. You, you look as old as dirt. You have younger <laughs> years. Yep. When you're old as dirt, you definitely have younger years somewhere. Uh, whatever. Gosh, she's so depressed. I feel like she needs a hug or something. <laughs> the moment I touch her, I'm gonna get stabbed. No. There's no hugging here. <laughs> no, you can thank you, I'm sure. I use stuff to creep behind you. You got a shield hidden in that beard. Uh, <laughs> if only. Ash, Ash uh, speaks to you. Uh, is there anything you want? The reason you're addressing all of us as a whole, old guy? Or are you oh, two no. gonna try to allude to us doing something. I know these two. You guys are new faces to me, yeah? Quite frankly, the tension over here between this table is odd. Or well, tense, to say the least. But, I can tell my past experience when I see somebody who's definitely stronger than the norm. Nor norm. There you go. Than the norm. Experience. I'm here. Curious if you could teach me anything. Besides hopelessness, I already got taught that multiple times. <laughs> what do you mean by past experiences? Like as I said, when you're old as dirt, you gain stuff over time. <laughs> uh, Drava squints at you accusingly. Ah, that's actually me saying the truth. That's like the reason why I said past experience. No, 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 I know, I know, I know. 
she's she's what? she's looking at you, and uh, the the look in her eye, combined with that ever slight ominous glow she has, she looks like she's a, a half second away from attacking you, but she doesn't. Oh. But your song is not the most, I guess I should say, welcoming to most people here, sadly. Ah, well, that's their loss. We were given yeah. the right to perform here, and that's what we did. Indeed. Now, Dumb. I heard her say something about a record label thing. How do we do that? And then Fiend speaks up. Uh, that's not how that works here. You can't just declare you want a record deal. Uh, Angela has to decide that for you. And she's like, I don't care. I just want it. How do I get it? Just probably watch a red comment and just shoot up. <laughs> no. Fiend again says, again, you don't decide that. Because you don't run the music industry on this side of the continent. I approach the table. Just in case. <laughs> this is getting heated. Uh-huh. I didn't ask you guys who ran the music industry on this side of the continent, whoever you are, injecting yourself into my conversation. All I want is to spread the word of my experiences and get people not to do stupid shit. I try to said, be heroes. You said your experiences. What does that entail? Who asked you? <laughs> I like how you guys Me, assume bitch. you can. I like how you guys is can hear across the tavern and just listen to my whole conversation. Now it's room level conversation. Don't worry about it. We got good ears. Don't worry about <laughs> it. We're main characters. <laughs> uh, this is how I die. The moment you oh, know, just right. entered it, just get stabbed. <laughs> what did you just call me? Oh, <laughs> I shouldn't have said me, bitch. I was just I like... leave this conversation. It's like, nope, <laughs> it's already gone. <laughs> like, I look at her intensely into her eyes with a bitch face. I'm like, look, listen, I've come across my fair share of you people in my in my world, so I understand how to deal with you in this. We're asking you simple questions, yet you seem to be rather bitchy answering them back. Wouldn't you agree? I and like I Eric. asked you one question, and one question only. What does that entail? Holy shit. My character is like sweating buckets over here. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I went back to the wife. It was like, well, it seems like they're just simple folks trying to spread their own music. So, Did I'm not gonna know? lie. I'm gonna be honest. Freaking that. What's her name, this one? Drava. This is Ash? Oh, no. This one is Ash. This one is Drava. Yeah, mm. fucking Yashua is like trying his best not to make eye contact with those eyes because he finds them, you know, charming because, you know, they look like just rubies to him. Oh my Did god, love interest. You... I'm sorry. I just want to make sure I heard you right. You said your world? Oh, yes. that's out of the bag now. So that means that means her eyes start to, yeah. her eyes start to glow a little bit. Mm -hmm. That means you were attacked by the devourer, weren't you? I sigh. Sadly, we have it. And that means I have, that... Or I have it. Wait, what? We have. Okay. We have it. <laughs> and that means that bullshit God Cora sent you here, right? That is quite exactly what happened, yes. Quite hostile, aren't you? And so Everybody. you and so you think <laughs> you're gonna be heroes and save this place. Huh. Why are you asking? Because you're about to get stabbed. <laughs> that's I what, that's why we came here and we failed. Horribly. May I ask what happened? You don't need to know that. All you need to know is that we watched our comrades die right in front of us. And we barely escaped with our lives. The last thing we heard from them were their screams of utter agony. 
listen to me. Do not continue with this. You are going to die. I want to actually interject in this uh, conversation. <laughs> Go for it. So, holy shit, so he is the transmission. <laughs> I'm fast enough to actually move that fast. So I come around. Did that actually start it though? Come around, put my hands on their seat. It's like, that is why. When the, well, that sounds harsh. <laughs> when the, the old has failed, they will pass on to the new. That's how hope goes. Show me how hope goes. Hope is useless. Hope does nothing but set you up for disappointment. That is why I don't believe in hope. I believe in myself and my own physical abilities. Well, you believe in results? They only get you so far. Yes. The fact that I have results, it will eventually build up over time. Hopefully enough to do the deeds I need to do. And I get shanked in the toilet. What? Typical hero talk. Listen, you're wasting your time. Just go ahead and give up already and... Okay, that's enough. You can cut that out now. Oh, Holy shit. God, she, <laughs> she went big. I would take her off. <laughs> Hit the record button again. I'm going to uh, okay, so. Your voice. And the voice says, Okay, that's enough. You can stop now. And the air in the tavern becomes cold. Yes, very cold. Nice. And very dark. That's Best not what weather. I'm going to do. <laughs> and okay. Dreva looks over and she's like, who and what is that? And the stranger speaks, what? You don't recognize me? Old friend, hmm? my fellow hero, my ex comrade. Oh dear, I would take her now. <laughs> and suddenly, Drava very obviously starts having a mental breakdown. And she's like, There's no way. I wa I. I watched you die right in front of me. Yeah. I did die. That sure did happen. But as you can see, I'm alive in the flesh. And you can't do anything about it. And you're right. I understand why you told these... She looks at the party. Fools. Not to get involved, but it seems like they've already made a name for themselves here. And I think I'm going to go out of my way to snuff that light out. Yeah. Hmm? I see you got what you wanted. I got the fight I wanted. That to do that. Well, this, this was already written in. I'm going to do it. I'm gonna dunk her now. <laughs> so anyway, uh, you look over to where Angela and Maya were, and after a quick burst of magic, uh, she grows to be half as tall as Ifrit is, runs over, waves her hand behind her, and creates a long line of uh, fire, like from her to protect everyone and mayor he snaps his fingers and all the other patrons are quickly warped out of the tavern uh, it lose okay <laughs> that. She was... yeah, move everyone's tokens uh angela is is she <laughs> she's charging a fire spell that much is sure like, her hand is like 
Her entire arm is completely engulfed in flames. And oh she's God. ready to just fire. <gasps> Excuse me. She's just ready to fire off at her. Meanwhile, as the other patrons are leaving, Drava, Drava runs up to this mysterious person. And she says, there's, there's no way. Priya? Is that really you? Yeah. It's me. I died. Came back. You lived. And I think that that's not going to happen anymore. And before Drev can even process what she just said, she rams her hand through her chest and flings her across the room and she smacks the wall. Bruh. You beat me to it. <laughs> don't, make, don't make me do it. I want to get fisted in the chest. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, yeah, I panic and try to uh, provide first aid or at least try to fucking, you know, do something about that. There is a hole the size of a dictionary in her chest. That and the wall of fire in the way. Well, no, the wall of fire is behind Angela. And Mayor is, has just about finished getting everybody out of here. Uh, Angela looks at Mel and she's like, listen, this is that scenario I thought was going to happen. Get the girl, cast the, cast the whatever protective match you have on the girls and get them out of here. Meanwhile, Adam looks at Ifrit and she looks at him and she's like, I'll be home soon, very soon. And she sends Adam. No, she picks up Adam by the head. She makes a hole specifically for her. It's like a little portal on the roof of the tavern and throws him through the portal. Go, oh, Adam. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ash is in shock, but she, she fake composes herself and she tries to run away. But then... Uh, she is hit with a gravity spell, and suddenly she is prone on the ground by the door. Now. <laughs> right. Now, Mayor runs up to Angela. He says, sweetheart, don't get yourself killed, please. She says, it's either kill or be killed. And I'm pretty sure that this bitch is going to die right now. And Priya responds, oh, well, that's what you think. And then Mayor warps himself out of here. Now, combat will begin. Oh, let's go. What about the daughters? I mean, the, uh, whatchamacallit? One of your two objectives is to get them out of here safely. Well, I already killed that objective. Here's Escort the missions <laughs> begin. If you want it. What do you mean you failed? They're not, nothing happened to them yet. Yet. Okay, so is she like severely injured or is she dead? Dead. She is severely injured. All right. Uh. Fuck. All right. Combat has begun. Okay. Uh. Real quick. What is her speed? Like What's her speed? speed? You gotta use Libra to find out. No, oh, I was talking to uh, Rick. My speed? Oh. Yes. My default speed is at uh, 81. Oh, I was scared because out of the party, I think I'm the fastest currently. <laughs> Without Alec around. Well, you have a uh, higher speed than me in default? 93. Alright, you go first then. But. Actually, it doesn't matter because enemy speed and so forth is irrelevant, isn't it? Or is it? You gotta use Libra to find out what her speed is. I know, I was asking turn based order, is what I'm saying. Oh. Oh, yeah, she's going first. Yeah, that's what I assumed. It's a little <laughs> better. Angela's going first? No. The boss is. Uh. Alright. Uh, she is going to look at. 
ice. And she's oh, going yeah. to hit you with a gravity spell. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is where the fun uh, begins. I need you. I actually go down now. Hang on. I need... that's, that's right. Does my HP go up as my max HP goes up? Current HP wise. Yeah. Okay. Glad I've been doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pay attention to that, my HP going up. <laughs> okay, Yuki, I need you to roll a 1d6. Alright. I have a good dunk dodge. <laughs> oh, you dodged the gravity spell. Ooh. Not dunked on. Nice. Now for the other actions. <laughs> oh, fast little bastard, aren't you? Well then. She runs. Well, not runs. She, she flies right over to you. And she attempts to grab you. This is a familiar feeling. <laughs> I need a... Roll dexterity. Do you, do you have as you want to know what the goblin rules are for D&D? I know what they are, but... Okay. I'm gonna fail this now. How <laughs> you know that? Oh yeah, she sure... Yep. If you ask for me to roll... Actually, you asked me to roll my lowest stat for this, say. Eh? No, wait. For real? Yeah, Dex is my lowest stat. Damn. <laughs> Okay. I've, I could have possibly outstripped it, maybe. One Never second, I'm gonna go get a drink. Okay. Well, she grabs you, and she's going to thump you on the head. And let's see, what's your, what's your stuff again? Do this up. Oh, I was reading an item, Rika. How could you? Oh, my bad. Where's my calculator? Don't worry, you're finished, though, so I can go back to reading this item. Yeah, yeah. That's all I need to know. Oh wait, combat does start. If you're using my defense, change that to 143. Hang on. Are you, what, you say 143? Yeah. <laughs> because of the protector bracelet, bracelet. Oh, right. Uh, you take 10 damage from that. And then... Well, and as, as a reaction, I would trigger the crystal uh, badge. They are so loud. For what, man? Damn. So 10 damage? Yeah, 10 damage. And then I check the crystal badge. How does the crystal badge work anyways? I know at least a copy of myself. Where do, where do I go after that? Uh, you can move up to 5 feet in any direction. Well, after the crystal badge, just pop myself right back in front of her on the ground. Freedom. Uh, okay. You escape her gas and she looks at you. And before she can really process what just happened, there is a crystal copy of you in her hand, and she seemingly can't let go of it. Even better. So she currently... I gave her a weapon. No, no, she, she can't use one of her hands. Uh, she attempts to break the crystal copy of you, only to hurt herself. And she took. <clears throat> Excuse me. She took uh, 50 damage from that. I need to walk with that calculator now. <laughs> Alright. Those are all of her actions. Who carries it now? I believe. Your turn, you have a higher speed than me. I believe it's the wife's turn. <laughs> Oh yeah, it is Angela's turn. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm, I'm speeding her anytime soon. Oh yeah, for uh, sure. Angela is going to turn around and she's going to cast a 
level four fire, which is Faraja. Now you gotta on her escape. arm. And she is going to punch her dead in the jaw. Get this out. 41 Alright. I need to roll for the burn chance. Whoop! Yep, she is burning. And Angela is going to do that again with her other arm. Nine. And then Angela is going to use her last action to. Uh, position herself in front of Mel and the girls. Oh, fuck yeah. Riku, don't I need to cast a spell to, like, show that they're safe? Or did I already... No, you have to physically escort them out of the building. Can I do that now while Stellar... Uh, after Yuki goes. Okay. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that in order of speed, it goes... Doesn't it break though? But oh, if I already took a turn, my speed is sixty. So if it is, if, if it is charging something, okay. With two seconds to figure, the do some math right now. Well, I I go to use cure on a wet surface on the ground that's bleeding. Okay. I'm pretty sure how she can be saved from a hole. I was saved from a hole. Whoop! It's only one thing to do at this point like this. Yeah, not everyone has your kind of durability. By the way, the base amount she would appeal by if she did heal is 539. I have yet to add wisdom to that. <laughs> okay. Anyways, gonna waste my way on her. That's two action. Right quick, if I pick up two person, can I try to do that as a whole single action if they're not trying to oppose me? <laughs> You're trying to pick them up? Yes. Yeah, you can pick them up. Well, there's only one course of action to do right now. Too much, much of monster to flex myself and fly right through this wall right here. <laughs> you going to fly through the wall? With my, of course, kicking through, trying to keep them safe. But yes. <laughs> Go for it, shit. You're gonna take these two out to escape through the fucking wall. I have a four, four whore turns. Isn't Holy better. shit! Well, you you fly through the wall and you make such a clean hole whilst carrying the two of them that none of you take any damage. And for simplicity's sake, you fly them back to the village. However, because of this, you, you do have to spend the entire turn flying back. Yes. And you also, and you also tell now. them... You also tell them to uh, raise the alarms and uh, stand guard outside of the tavern. Yes. Well, I need to concern myself with the, how much AMP I just used up because I didn't have much to begin with at the very end. <laughs> uh, you spent 100. Oh no, I, I use muscle flex as well. Oh. I'm the you use the, you use the 100 to uh, fly them out of there. Let me look up what my past map was then. Uh, Selena, I'll screen share it for you if you're still there. Somebody's already screen sharing. No, not. I said somebody else was. Oh, somebody was. Correction. Didn't realize that they stopped. Mm -hmm. Well, I believe that's all my actions. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see, next in order of speed, it is Rick's turn. Alright. I believe in you. 
Alright. How's her health condition? Because you used Cure on her, but... Uh, he, 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 he stabilized her, but... Uh, you can see that the hole has closed up a little bit. So it's not like completely closed, but it's definitely not dictionary sized anymore. I think I like 20 MP. Okay, you know what? I should completely make sure that she survives. Yeah, she is also currently suffering the effects of bleed, which is the status ailment. All right, so I cast Isan on her. All right. So that's one turn. One action. So you got five. One action, yeah. One action. And I'll use uh, Cure on her. What do I have to roll for that? Just click it. Uh, it is... So is you're using base Cure? Oh, I picked out how much I healed. 749. Yeah, the max... The, the calculation for Cure is 25. No, no. For you, yours... Yours is 35... Plus your max MP divided by two. Because you have a boosted version of it. Fuck, I, okay, I gotta do math. So, what does. So, my cure does what? Your cure does 35 plus your 35. max MP divided by two. I really need my healing power somewhere, for my sake in the future. Um, Fuck, am I doing this right? Alright, hold on, I gotta find a calculator. I, I did it for you, but you heal her for... Without adding your wisdom bonuses, 362. So how is she now? Uh, she's, she's fully stabilized. She's like, still unconscious from shock, but she is, she's not leaking anymore. But she's gonna survive. Yeah, she'll make it. Alright, we're gonna have to get her out then. I just thought something stupid, just yeet her body out the hole right there. <laughs> I mean, you've already completed your main objective, or no, the side objective for this fight, but I'm not stopping you from tossing her body out the hole. No, it's just, I don't want her to get targeted. I'm pretty sure there's more pressing matters in front of her. And then a dead body on the gr well, a limp body on the ground. <laughs> well, you know, bad guys like to have uh, hostages. Well, how, how do you feel about this, Rico? About taking hostages? Hmm, <laughs> it wasn't gonna happen for this fight. Hmm. You know what I was thinking to do, if you allow it. Though, I won't be able to use it for the entire fight. Okay. Strap the falcon armor onto her and just, you know, get her body to get evac'd and just get it, uh... I believe you need the to The falcon actually... armor does not have an autopilot program and you would be armorless. Yeah. I have, uh, I still have armor. An extra spare of armor. <laughs> Yeah, plus, I think for for the uh, flight to be triggered, the person wearing it needs to trigger it. Yeah. Fuck. All right, fuck it. She's stabled. Uh. Whatever. I'll just start shooting at her then. All right. So you use one attack. <laughs> I just see out there in the corner. <laughs> I like. Is chilling. <laughs> I don't like composition though. But you know what? Um, I'll stand in front of the body. Let me bring my, my calculator back up. 
I'm gonna test out the crystal shock rounds with uh, reloading siphon. Okay, hold on one second. No, re reloading siphon doesn't use ammo. Remember? So, you also, my sniper uses, does my sniper use ammo? Yes. Also, right. wait, wait, wait. Uh, in order for that to to have a chance of hitting. Uh, you need to roll 1d11. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use a sniper, but use the uh, uh, put in the crystal uh, the crystal shock rounds. Okay. So I don't know if poison actually stacks with it. Well, you still gotta roll the 1d11 to see if that attack's hit in the first place. Yep. So, slash R space D11. 1D11. Slash 1D11. Like this? That does not hit. But yeah, that's how you do it. Okay. Right, so you shoot her, and she tilts her head to the side and dodges the bullet. <laughs> That's turn three, right? Oh yeah, that was action three. Alright, uh... Clock's in another shot. Oh, that didn't work. Why didn't it work? That's the same way I did it. Slash in the wrong spot. Ah. Uh. Alright, that one's a hit. Let's, uh, you can click uh, that attack again. Alright, so... With the thunder round, so now I have... 48 of those shots. <clears throat> I use the rounds, that's another. And I need to roll to see if she is affected by shock. Wow. So, uh... She got the electric chair? <laughs> no. She's not affected by it at all. Uh... She is affected Oh, by that's it. her rolling against it, okay. Yeah. She's not affected by that or the poison. That was... What, action four? Three? Uh, four. Okay. Uh, so the boss has currently taken uh, 1,091 points of damage. In total? Mm-hmm. Still don't know how much health she has, though. Do I have to roll another D11 before I attack? Uh, if you want to attack, yeah. That's a hit.
with another thunder round. I actually, I, I have to see how much damage this thing actually does. Okay, let me add this together. Oh wait, it takes up two of my bullets. Boss is currently taking <clears throat> uh, twelve thousand. Whoa, one thousand two hundred sixty damage, and their defense has dropped by ten, and the, the dex has dropped by ten, which means they have minus twenty speed. So now, for for five turns, you don't have to roll to hit her because she well. You and Yuki don't have to roll to hit her, but Poker still does. Mm. Alright, cool. This is literally fucking chosen. Don't worry, I'll, sh I'll shoot her again to drop her speed more. No. It's nuts. I see how it is. Hey, you're the one with 60 speed. Don't worry, no, Poker. Like <laughs> I'll make sure she doesn't fucking walk. Yes. But we still don't know how much health she has, so you're gonna have to use Libra. If it works. Mm, is it my turn? Yeah. yeah my turn to done. Okay, I'm gonna cast Libra real quick. You can cast what? Libra. Okay. Let me type up this stuff. Also, uh, make sure you use the jack 50 MP. At least we're not fighting Sephiroth. Oh, okay. thank God. <laughs> Oh, Riku, is it at the start of, of the next turn or the end of our first turn that we start gaining 50 HP from the Compassion Ring or the other ring? It's at the end of your turn, if you are missing health, uh, you regain 50 HP. Oh, it doesn't go over? Okay. Okay. Now you have her stats. Allow me to have that reflect in-game. That's a lot of HP, holy shit. It's only 1,000 more than a Raytheon fought. That's nothing. The dragon had close to that amount. <laughs> I wasn't here for the dragon. Yeah, and only two man that dragon with these. Oh, that's what you give. That's what happens when you have a spell sword and a wild rose. Spell sword. Noctis. That's what Noctis is. Alright. Has a variety of elements of spells in her arsenal. One of the one of the heroes who came here before you did and lost her battle against the devourer. Something happened to her that caused her to be resurrected and become an enemy. Is there a way to save her? Find out. Time to catch a soon ass. I don't think a scene is gonna work on an enemy that's um, you know at full strength. You wanna do what, Poker? You sound a little quiet. Uh, yeah, it's because I turned down the sensitivity of my mic. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, no, I should be good now. Good now? Yeah, you say you wanna roll what? Right. Um, can I roll Perception to see if I can find out if you can be saved? No. Is there anything I can do to find out if she can be saved? I mean, that's mm, something. No. Like, knowledge wise, okay. I don't think we yeah. even learned anything about <laughs> surviving the dead yet. I'm gonna fight this bitch. Okay, Riku, I'm gonna cast Blinking Cut. So I need to roll a 1D for it. No, you can just click the button. Nut! Okay. Oh, uh... uh, hold on, what button? Do I have it? Oh, that's sexy. Uh, okay, can we assume that I rolled a 3 already? <laughs> uh. Yeah, but in order for that to connect, you 
need to roll a 1d20. What's making that static happen? Is your phone by your uh, laptop or something? I need to leave and come back one second. Uh, okay, is it better? Yeah. I don't know why, I just need to leave and come back and it fixes itself. Okay, so I rolled a 1d20 and got a 16. Alright, uh, yeah, that hits. Okay, okay. so... With the, whenever she decides she's going to attack you, she has minus 5 speed. Also, it says that if I roll a 3, she misses. Oh, wait, wait, I looked at the wrong number, whoops. Okay, so... The next melee attack she does against anyone, she's it's not going to work. Okay. I will continue with mm, one serpent slice. And I need to roll a 1d20. Woo! I'm so sexy today, wow. Alright. So that's a hit. Uh, increase your speed by 10. I keep forgetting how to fucking fix that. Hang on. Do just open control. your sheet, go to where it says speed, and then just change the number. Yeah, okay. I did that. And I will watch a dragon slice and roll a 1d20. Uh, I'm gonna eat my own ass. Uh, no. Because you increase your speed by 10, you gotta roll a 1d10. Oh, my bad. Okay. Roll a 1d10. Uh, gee, <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Yikes. <laughs> Damn. Damn, I look at my sword and go like, damn, it looks pretty today. Um... It, that's... <laughs> I'm gonna explain to you after session how critical failures work. Oh yeah, critical's gonna fuck me over. No, yeah. Critical failures is what I need to explain to you, because you're still thinking about how they work by the way Preston told you and they don't want them back. Mm. Wait. Out of curiosity, which version is his, Preston? His was, if you screw up, you absolutely fail it in the worst way possible. Huh. Yeah. Okay, what happens to me? I will talk about that after a session, because this is, I'm still recording all this. Uh, hang on. Uh, that one, you just, you missed. That's all that happened. Oh, okay. I, I rolled Dragon Slice again, and I'm gonna roll over. Okay, okay, hang on, I have to do the math. Okay. Okay, so you used Dragon Slice twice. Okay, increase your attack by 20. And then. 20? Oh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go up that time. You don't. I wish I had a health bar to display at the end of me. Wait, can y'all you, you not see it? No, I don't see a health bar on the boss. Oh, shit. Okay, I'll fix that. Okay, you did uh, 190 damage to the. To, to Priya. Mm. Okay. Shall I roll again? Uh, how the hell is... One, two, three... You got one action left. Oh yes, because I also use the... Yes, bitches! That's better. <laughs> I should even see it. Oh, that hits, by the way. If, if, if it didn't hit at what d <laughs> If I rolled a 9 and I didn't hit, I'd be like, hmm. <laughs> Racist, sexist, homophobic. Anyway. <laughs> what attack are you gonna use? Oh, fuck, I'm sorry. Right. Wait, what the fuck is Platinum Bullet? It's a spell you get from equipping a Platinum Weapon. Uh-huh. Didn't realize. Okay. Man, it's okay, I'm not gonna use it now, I'll use it next time. Okay, 
enemy. <coughs> oh shit. The enemy currently has 11,498 HP left. And, uh, your actions. And Ifrit has finished charging whatever attack she was. And you see a very, very large ball of fire over her head. And she is going to throw it at Priya. So, oh. I'm going to do this. If, uh, by the way, if Rita, with this attack, no, well, because fighting, you know, took place. She is uh, partially not holding back because uh, she is she is quite pissed off. Oh. So what is there going to be splash damage that we have to worry about? No, she just she is like one stage just before giving her all to kick Priya's ass. What the? Bam. Oop. Bop. Alright. Uh, Ifrit is going. <coughs> so she casts a tier 6 fire, which is Ferragum. And then. She is going to cast Temper on... She's going to cast Temper on Yugi. I'm not back yet. Right. Right. Forgot that. Forgot about that. Part. Now she's going to cast Temper on Yashua. And then she is going to exit the battle herself. And she is going to grab Ash and get a move on. She, she too is going to stand guard outside of the tavern just in case uh, Priya manages to escape somehow. Okay. Let me remove... So she... Well, my next action I actually have to, have to make shit down. <laughs> so she attacked the boss and buffed Yashua? Yeah. So for your next turn all of your attacks hit twice. <sighs> oh, haste. Okay. And I, I, I remember now. I know what that does now. Okay. Then haste and temper are two different things in this campaign. And uh, because Yuki is not present, it's going have to be to Priya, Angela, and then Yashua. You have to make a bag, but next time turn around. But not right now. Yeah, like when after this combat cycle, you'll be back in the fight. All right, so Priya huh? is going to see. look at Mel. So. And she is. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> she, she made me fucking sneeze. <laughs> uh, she is going to cast Thundaga on you. I have to roll for her chance to hit. Does she not miss by any chance? I need to look and see if you made your proper speed adjustments. I did. I increased it by 10. Okay, so she hits you because she has 80 speed and it's not a melee attack. Oh, uh, did my blink and cut thing run out or like... No, it, it lasts up until she uses a melee attack. And because oh. she's not using one, she's casting magic. A little bitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> I taunt her. Hit me. <laughs> hmm. 
Can I do that? Can I taunt her and go like, hit me, bitch? I mean, you can. I'm not gonna stop I... you from taunting her. Can I taunt? Okay, I taunted her. Hit me, bitch. Do it. Don't I? Can't, don't cast a spell. <laughs> do it. No balls. <laughs> do it. Just say no balls. God, no one. So... Roll twenty, please. Thank you. Damn, my persuasion didn't work. Can I persuade him? No. <laughs> He's fuck. <laughs> uh, because your defense exceeded what the attack roll was, you don't take any damage. Aha, uh -huh, bitch, you should have fucking made me. <laughs> uh, she is going to look at Angela. And she is going to cast AOE Arrow 3. So all of you are gonna hit no matter what because of AOE. I'm safe. <laughs> ah, what a great time to be away from combat. Poker Rick, you two, uh, again, because your defense exceeds the boss's attack roll. Uh, oh wait, no, Rick, you you take you take ten damage, Rick. Poker, you don't take anything, and Angela doesn't take any damage either. I take ten damage. Okay. Yeah. So I'm at. 725. Yep. Angela uh, looks at him and is like, man, for a fallen hill, you're, you're pretty fucking weak. I think, I think, I think Cor might have made a mistake with you. And Priya, after hearing this comment, gets angry and, uh, I'm super saying. She starts glowing just a little bit. Oh gosh, she has a limit break. And she increases uh, her attack by 300. Fuck. That open your mouth. <laughs> I, do you want to just remember it, Riku? Huh? Since the last combo with the dragon, there hasn't been any other combat. Final limit break is sitting at 90. True? Uh, just one clean hit from her, I have my limit break. True? <sighs> Alright. She is going to attempt to punch Mel. However,. <laughs> the effect from Blinking Cut takes place, and she misses. I got her slapped, I'm joking. And you dodge the attack in a manner that causes you to switch places with her. Oh. Um. Alright. She I is... so close. Joshua. <laughs> she is going to use one more action. And she is going to cast. Hmm. She's gonna start charging a spell. And that's her action. Those are all her actions for her turn. So now, it's good old Angela's turn again. And after noticing her take a position that she looks like she's charging something dangerous. Angela is going to cast Wall and Heroism on Mel and Yashua. So, uh, you two, what is. Give me just a moment. I have to do math. Let's see. Mel, how much speed do you have now? 70. Uh,. 
Rick, increase, increase your seven. Increase your defense by forty-one points, and then increase it again by another forty-one points. My, uh, your defense. Okay. So increase, increase it by eighty-two. And then, Poker, you increase your defense by. Uh, increase your defense by 131. Jesus. And then. You two need to increase your. Your tax stat. Uh, let's see here. Uh, poker increase your attack by 66 points and then increase your magic attack by 20 points Okay, did you hear the 66 part? Talking to me or poker? Poker. There you go. And then, Rick, you mm -hmm. increase your attack by... Da, 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 da. Increase your attack by 43 points. So that's 150. Uh, oh. And then. Oh. Increase your magic attack by 22 Here. points. Okay. And then. That's. Wait, how much is that? 70 foot? No, 76. Yep. Okay. And then for her last action, Angela is going to. Position herself in front of you two, and she's going to cast a bubble on herself. So she's gonna like forcefully move the two of you behind her, and she's gonna do bubble. This, this. that's five. Bam. All right. Uh, Rick, it is your turn. All right. Uh, how much speed does the boss have? Since I reduced it. Seventy. Mel, you say you had seventy-one. Um, no, I also have seventy. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna shoot her in the legs again to drop her speed, so you don't have to roll. <laughs> Fuck your legs, bro. Wait, hold on. Which skill was it? Was it armor piercing? Yes. Yep. With the thunder bullets. Okay. Right. Go from 42. No, uh, 46 shots to 44. Her defense drops by another 10, that's by another 10, so now she is at 50 speed. And the shock loss is another shock. Ah, uh, she's not affected by the shock. Oh, uh, doesn't matter, I, I, I shot both her kneecaps at this point. That's for being a bitch. <laughs> uh, all right. Wait, be, wait. Also, because you're under the effects of temper, 
the damage for that is about twice. So that's times two. Okay, that attack did 326. Actions left. Alright. What does Hollow Shot do again? Uh, it just lowers your dex. I'm gonna use... Actually, Armor Piercing does a lot of damage. Fuck it. Right. I'm gonna make sure she has no armor left. No. Hang on, let me get my other calculator. Sorry if I'm making you do math. No, you're good. Sorry. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna use any more shock bullets because they don't seem to be affecting her. I'm just wasting them. Yeah. Yeah. I came here for you. Uh, okay, I got this. Alright, so far you have dealt 634 points of damage. How much armor does she have now? Or uh, defense re hang reduction? On. I'm changing her HP stuff. Hmm. Uh, hang on. Uh, she currently has zero defense. Can I go to the negatives? Yes, it can. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Would it affect damage if it goes to the negatives? I guess it will. <laughs> Yashua just looks at her and says, Nothing personal. <laughs> Nothing personal. That sounds very personal if you ask me. Six. Mm. How many actions was that? That was one, two, three actions. Uh -huh. oh, that's another 292. Oh, right, that takes two bullets. And that, 98. Alright, can I roll again? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Alright, I have two actions left, right? Yes. Okay, my character just... Casually just yawns while he shoots at her. <laughs> I'm just shredding her armor. Okay. Well, she has no armor now, nor defense. She, uh... She sure does have minus 10 defense right now. That's another 316. Uh, Rick, you are at full limit break meter, by the way. Or oh, energy. All oh, right, limit break. Awesome. What was that noise? <laughs> I, uh, I twisted my back. Okay, final turn, I'm gonna use my limit break. Right, how many bullets do you wanna spend? 
all of them. And what kind of bullets are you gonna use? <laughs> as much as I'm tempting to burn all of my crystal bullets, I don't think it's worth it since they don't affect her. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna burn 50 shots. So I'm at so I'm at 49. Yeah, no 48. So you're doing. Ooh, excuse me. Bless you. Okay. So that is... Anything I have to roll? I did it for you. Okay. That's 222, plus another 10, 232. Chris! 93. Chris! 28. Alright. Poker, it is now your turn. How much damage does that do? Oh, uh, you did uh, 232. And you should... You should have... Uh... Chris! Hang on, I need Chris. to roll your little break energy. Chris! I feel like my other skills, my normal skills, do more damage than my limit break. I don't know what's up with that. More bullet tire damage? Uh, Poker, you should have uh, 15 points limit break energy. Are you good? Yes, you said you had to do something. No, I, I did what I need to do. Oh, okay. Um, because I don't want to fucking roll to like go for attacks, I'm gonna use Serpent Slice again. Miku, don't touch my fucking Serpent Slice. You didn't make your changes to the attacks. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, when I say you up your attack, you gotta go in and like change. Change all of that too. But, uh. Oh, you're good to go now. Okay. Uh, people bump, 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 serpent slice. Okay. Ignore okay. the bar. Shall I? Do I need to roll um, now again? Uh, yeah, you can. Okay, so 1d20? No, no, no. T to hit her, you don't have to roll that. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, because now, now she's considered slower than you. Okay, so I changed that up real quick. Is that. No, I changed the attack. Where the fuck is the. Um, I did that so you don't have to roll. Yeah. You're so sexy, wow. Well, um, I'm gonna use Dragon Slice now. <laughs> Bonk. That's kind of- that's- I don't know if that's good enough. Oh, fuck, I clicked it again. That wasn't on purpose. <laughs> okay. Cause then I have- no, I guess cause I have to change my attack by another 5, 6, seven. So technically, the, the one that I rolled right now is invalid. Yeah. Okay. When you finish doing the calculations, please. Okay. 
What exactly does Captain Bullet do? It's just a non-elemental magic attack you have. Mmm. I think I'm seeing some stuck to shit on my fucking swords. Rico, can I make a fire ice attack? Uh... Say that again, that's static. I couldn't understand you. Fucking static ass b- Okay. Okay, like I have to go check that out. Um, anyway. So you want to use... A fire ice attack. Can I do that? Do you have a fire and blizzard spell? I have a fire spell that I want to cast onto my... Um... Thundrakist sword. Oh, I see what you're going for. And then use... Dragon blade. I'm going for that wombo combo. Uh, damn! Yeah, go ahead. I okay. I take my Thunderkiss sword and cast fire onto it. Okay. And I also cast lightning, but is that too much? Can I just not do that? Can I do that? You have three actions left, <laughs> and casting spell sword is already taking up one of them. Okay, so I'll just use Thunderkiss sword and cast fire on it and roll it and then use Dragon Slice. Okay, hold on. hold on. Going dual elemental on it, eh? Uh-huh. <laughs> My character just looks at you casting spells on your sword and then he just whistles. An amusement. Okay, click click the thing I just put on your attack sheet. That should have been there a long time ago. Okay. Because you want to cast fire onto that, you use, you use, like, use spellblade to apply fire. That's an additional. Wow. Man, that you don't have to fuck me over, huh? Like, damn. Damn. Anyway. Damn, Riku, damn. Shut your mouth. <laughs> it could have been any number. Anyway. Taken care of. 
and you have you kind of have half your own break energy. And Yuki, you have now re-entered the fight. The shame in the midst of a match of someone who wanted to prolong this. I'm playing a mobile app right now. <laughs> okay. Well, it's not. It's not uh your turn anyway. Can I? Shall I use uh, my dragon species now? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Wait. We do have one action left. I forgot about that. Yeah. Shall I use? What does more damage, more dragon slice or the flash freeze? Uh, why don't you look at the numbers and then get back to me? Yeah, um... <laughs> right. Because yeah, fire part. is still active on your weapon... Back. Well, that critical you smacked on me earlier. Yeah. Ooh, my you now God. have, uh, yeah, sixty-nine moonbreak energy. And you should, well, if you want to end your turn there, you can, because all you got left is your ending action. Um... Oh, right. What happened? Oh. No, so no, it's just, yeah, so I didn't touch one to listen to some music. Ah, uh, fair enough. Um, uh, my ending action. I'll just defend myself, I guess. Divide. Oh. On third eye. No, not third eye. Third eye, I remember getting to as much as I wanted. Yeah, I'm just vibing, I'm just gonna defend. Alright! Ah. Uh, oh. Not locked down with that match. Okay, Chrome. Uh, like I said, you, you have re entered the fight. Yes, at 154 speed. Alright. Uh, uh, you should. It's the boss's turn, alright. So the boss is gonna finish charging whatever she was charging. And she is going to cast Govaja. Govaja? Yep. Oh fuck. So all of you lose 50% of your current health. Mm, I mean not your current not not your current, your max HP. Mom. Fuck, I have fifty percent. <laughs> like, Lou, just take your max HP, divide that in half, and that's how much damage you take. Round up or down? Down. <laughs> down. Damn. Okay, no 181 divided by. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure what it was 50% or not. <laughs> Damn, she did fucking damage, she said fuck you. I can convert all that. <laughs> Like, there won't be a lot, there you Jeez, that fucking hurt. Oh, yeah. I'm at 362 now. Oh, wait, round that up. So I got the point five. Uh, Poker, because of that, you will now have full limit break energy. <laughs> Can I use it? No, it's not your turn. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, she is going to take a moment to catch her breath because that took a lot out of her. <coughs> and she's going to use her next attack, or her next action rather, and she is going to specifically set her sights on you, Poker. Fuck. <laughs> and she's going to start charging another spell. 
and that's her actions. That's her, don't do it, you won't do it. My character's lungs, he, he's like, he coughed a little bit of blood after that spell. Ooh, like, like from anime, when it does flash out. Like... Well, yeah, he destroyed half of our HP. Oh, more than half, depending where you guys were sitting. Unless you guys are full HP, yeah. Yeah, they were. Oh. I was, I was really kidding. Uh... I got their exit out of the combat. <laughs> <It's my GM. laughs> uh, Rick, after getting hit by that, uh, you have 37 limit break energy. So Angela is going to take her, her turn. Uh, she's going to dispel the bubble she put around herself. That's gone, and then she is going to she's gonna punch the floor towards uh, Priya, and she's going to cause her to stumble in place. And then, as Priya is still stumbling, she is going to uh, once again cast Fire Four on her fist and punch her in her shoulder to disrupt her charging. Whoops. Damn, that one though. <laughs> R.I.P. Excuse me. Alright, let's... Set that. Four. Alright, uh, she is going to raise her arm above her head, and she is going to cast Kiraja, you know, well, Cure 4, on all of you, and you're back at full health. Oh, bless. Oh, bless. Oh, dude, I was getting ready to use a high potion. I mean, I was doing just fine. <laughs> and then... Hmm? <sighs> Angela's last well, mm. Angela's last action she mm. is going to she's going to cast Hastega on herself and then use the extra action granted from Hastega mm. to grab Priya by the throat and throw her at the wall god damn it that's what we have to do <laughs> huh? I was like, God damn it, that's more of a thing I have to do. Uh, and then with that, uh, Angela is going to exit the battle herself as she feels that there might be more danger outside. And as she's leaving, she says, Alright, I'm leaving the rest of you guys. I'm gonna go check on the rest of the village. Well, I have faith in you guys. <laughs> Angela has left the battle, so now it's a 3v1. Bitch. <laughs> I have faith in you guys. You guys got this. Well, shut oh, up, Yuki. What? Oh, I'm giving them more support. You're here in the. F oh. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn. Uh, it's time to get swinging, as usual. Uh, you already know what it's gonna be like, Riku. Mm hmm. So, I'm gonna actually speed myself up with haste. Alright. I'm going to be forced now. Let's do this. Four turns. Actually, that's forced supposed to match up. Let's change the end thing now. There we go. And now, I'll start doing the usual. The spark badge is time. <laughs> 
Because I actually need to get back MP. <laughs> wow, that crit though. Damn. All right, so that spark strike attack does, uh, is an automatic critical. So let me just add all that together. I'm watching my MP slowly drain out of me. <laughs> Yuki usually did 738 damage with that, so we reflect that on the HP bar. Second time around. <laughs> Same as the first. Uh, hang on, hang on, we do that. Mm. Yeah. Alright. I'm fucking gold, I'm not using the internet. So. Mm -hmm. Alright. Now the boom. Damage conversion for MP. I had to bend. Oh, I, have, I forgot to change the bosses here. MP. Alright, Riku. You said you were gonna display the HP bar. Can you still not see it? No, I don't see it. Unless unless I'm doing something wrong with my options here. Because uh, I, edit, I edited it so that way y'all can see it. Can you guys yeah. see the HP bar for the boss? I don't. Um, but I'm used to that, so <laughs> this is bug me. Neither do I. What the hell? Hmm. Huh. Can you see it now? Nope. Unless no. her icons are overcoming the HP bar. I don't because of the size of it, but who knows? Hmm. Like, do I have to click on the character to see it? I already tried. I don't want to play. <laughs> hmm. There it is. Okay. Oh, there it is. I see it. I know if we got to click something. All right. Cool. Okay. So right. she's. In... What does she have? Or nearly half? Almost half. Nearly half. Yeah. I'm do the rest of Yuki's damage here. As I go look at my limit break. <laughs> I will keep those. See what we're actually useful this time around. So you're gonna do next, Yuki? Oh, that was my to ban because I just used all five of my turn. I'm gonna really my limit break. Quick question: Do I add all my efficiency together and divide it by how many efficiencies I have? Yes. Noted. Okay, that's not really wrong. Uh, okay. Rip the cat. It is your turn. All right. All right, let's estimate her range because I don't want to keep using the same skills over and over and over again. 35. Thirty-five. Actually, I should get some bullets back. Alright. That is... Two, four, four. Oh wait, hold on Riku. 
I actually have to use her turn moving up because that's not gonna reach her. Okay. okay let's just go behind the couch here. All right, now, now calculate. <laughs> Sorry about that. Wait, how much did you move just now? I went from here to here, like 15 feet. Oh, that doesn't consume an action because of free dash. Uh, okay. We have to go to 10 round, well, 10 consecutive combat for that. Huh? Are we going to have to go to 10 consecutive combat for that? No, as long as he has the parts on, the passive works. Oh. Is that he has to do 10 fights for him to have it take effect outside of battle. Ah, there it is. Oh, okay. Okay, so it doesn't consume an action. All right, yeah, gotcha. So you still got four left. All right. Uh, how much damage did I do? I need to get an electric gray sword. <laughs> Let me know when I could go again. You, you can go. Oh, I thought you were still calculating. No. Sniper shot to the face. Roll 20. Roll 20, please. Oh, I have to roll 20? No, 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 no. no. I'm talking to the application. Oh. Roll, roll 20. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. Okay. I believe I have to refresh my roll 20. I'm gonna do that. However, uh, she is below half HP now. And after taking that last attack, she's going to stagger in place. And her charging is going to stop. And she looks at you all. And she says, man, it's really cute that you all are trying so hard to oppose me. Trying so, so hard to chase a foolish dream. And if I'm going to stop you all from wasting your time, I think that I need to... To stop screwing around with you all. And as she says that. That's how I comment. You guys got this. <laughs> and as she says that. Uh, the ground begins to shake. And she. Shrinks in size. Just a little bit. But she starts rising into the air. And. A uh, large bursts of energy are just coming out of her. And when everything dissipates, uh, she has a glow so intense that you could see it no from uh, quite no. far away. Clearly, I need to learn this technique as well. <laughs> and the boss has entered. Yeah, hold on your pants. The boss has entered their burst phase. I'm about to get well done. <laughs> oh, heat haze, let's go. <laughs> heat haze part two. All right. I hope you remember what burst mode means. I'm gonna Ay -ay -ay. get in the worst way possible. Okay. We're gonna get fucked if we don't use burst mode. So, Yuki, 
she's gonna look at you and she's going to snap her fingers and cast Thundagon on you. What a familiar spell. <laughs> I feel like a dragon did that to me. What? <laughs> I think about that one for a second. So that's. Bam, 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 bam. Bam. Dear lord. Thank god. Was that after my. The watch you got defense? Maybe. Oh, that's, that's, defense. that's before your defense is calculated. Okay. I did the thing, but I usually do. <laughs> right, she's going to cast it on you again. Okay, after this, after the multiple casts, because I should be still standing after that one. <laughs> the next one over. I need you to add all the total damage later for me. <laughs> okay. And then she is going to. Uh... Oh wait, because of the. Uh... Mine is up, that's an extra 10, so... Yo, this soundtrack gave me goosebumps, man. Sheesh. Uh... Then she's gonna look at Poker. Oh. She is going to... Raise her arm. And... She is... Going to cast... Raza, level 5 fire on you. Bitch. <laughs> That's how you say before you get roasted. The last words from Poker. Oh, Bitch. Factor <laughs> <laughs> in your defense. She looks like Bouette. It's most definitely not Bouette. <laughs> You take 135 points of damage from that. Excuse me. 100 and what? 35. Do you say that damage before or after my defense and so forth? Before. Yeah, I can actually do that calculation myself. Three attacks. She's going to. She's gonna cast. She's gonna cast uh, gravity on all of you. So lose ten percent of your health. And then lastly, she is going to run up straight to Yashua. And that inspired it. And she is going to try to grab him by the throat. Oh. Rick, I need a strength save roll from you, buddy. Is attacking me now? Yeah, she's trying to grab you. Uh, the big number, right? Yeah, go on your sheet where it says strength save. Click that. Strength save. Yeah, where's it saving goes? Uh, you grab her hand as it's going towards yours, and the both of you are currently in a grip lock. Bruh. Neither, neither of you, neither of you can move as one of you is trying to overpower the other one. And her burst phase is over because those are all five of her attacks. It's open. I dropped it easily. Open. So I, so I don't get a turn because I'm in a yeah, lock. You're, yeah, you're you're in a grip fight one, so you don't get a turn right now. I'm still standing. 348. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> However, because she is because her burst mode ended, and she is in hyper mode. Uh, oh, she, uh -huh. is, she is she is completely invincible for one attack. So whatever attack you're you're gonna use is just not gonna do anything to her. Hmm. Is it my turn? I do believe it's my turn. Yeah, it's Yuki's turn. <laughs> take that step up, take a mundane swing. Good luck! Like my first swing. 
Spit on her. Yeah, I'm just holding her in place. Don't mind me. <laughs> but yeah, the first way because I know I'm not gonna miss that one. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't think I'm gonna actually do my other swings now. Okay. Oh yeah, don't worry. She's got no speed, no and and negative defense. At that one. <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah, that flame tongue attack does uh does half damage. Is the electric uh, spark bag did double? Huh? The electric spark bag earlier did double. Double? The spark mm. bag's at that 20. I don't see one of the rolls. Mm. Uh, no, I meant much earlier. The turn oh. before. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's this actually important like for FD's sake. Except if you woke up a ton of money. Yeah, yeah, that's the situation. Alright, 6,054. Next screen again. Okay. And then I'm going to defend. Okay. Bro, fuck you, come here! Oh. Yuki, you're pretty much at full no break energy again, by the way. I know. Then I at the very first spell she cast on me coming back in. How much HP does a potion heal? A regular potion? Yes. Around 50 HP. All I need to know because the auto potion would have triggered somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Twice actually. God, they're so good! <laughs> <coughs> Alright, Poker. It is your turn, but Let me break. before you attack. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tear comes running back inside just to make sure that you know, the place isn't burned down. And yeah. she looks at you. She sees the overwhelming aura of energy surrounding Priya. And she cast overcharge on you, and now, well, she cast overcharge on everyone actually, and now all of you have access to your burst modes. And for the first time, I'm not this time your uh, character-specific burst on isn't gonna play, but instead, this will. Where is it? Mm -hmm. burst. All right. <laughs> Ooh. So technically, I need to use my burst mode. I mean, if you want to, you just have access to it now. Hmm. But if I do use burst, burst, hello. <laughs> if you if do, use use, if you use burst mode, your limit break energy will be consumed. Yes. However. Mm -hmm. Because this is the first time you have access to it, I will allow you to use your limit break in burst mode. Mm. So technically I can use my limit break right now and then followed up by, since my sword is still on fire I think, followed by four flash freeze slashes all at once. Is that what you Am I still in a grip lock with the boss? After you, after you cast the overcharge on you, you let go of Priya, and you threw her arms down at the ground so hard that she face planted into it because you were over, <laughs> you were filled with energy. <laughs> I want to add lightning. As well. <laughs> you have to replace uh, the fire cast. Oh fuck! Okay, never mind. I'll, I'll stay on fire. Wait, this, can it can it say what she's more vulnerable to? She doesn't have a specific element of weakness. Oh, okay, so fire's fine. Um, yeah, okay, I want to use my limit break and use four flash freeze slashes all at once. 
Okay. Give me a moment. So I can calculate it when I break down rolls. Okay, let's see. Three. All right, here goes your damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, seven, and eight. What the fuck? You heard limit break hits eight times. Oh, Samurai Limit Break hits eight times. Now I have to see how many- I use... Wait, I have to see how many criticals you rolled. I rolled two. Two, okay. So I'm gonna add all these together. Alright, Punk, you wanna know how much damage you just did? Yeah. You did 1,252 damage. I have not said it. <laughs> Boom! Boom! <laughs> Did you want to do? Um, I wanted to use flash freeze slash four times. Okay. Oh, Fuck me. I ate my ass in one of them. <laughs> Another 1,160 damage. I bow. <laughs> Wait, Riku, really cool. can the way hang I on, can the way on, I slash Hang those. on, hang on. I'm. You forget I have a delay, Riku. Don't do that. Yes, good old that. She is hanging on by a thread. Okay, what did you say you wanted to do, Parker? I wanted uh, my action instead of instead of it looking like I'm slashing. I wanted to just 
you know when uh, that stereotypical when samurai uh, anime characters just like see their sword and like slash it and put it back into the it's <laughs> not like for style one, like, points thing. Yeah, just for style points, can I do that? <laughs> Go for it. Yes. Okay, I did that. Uh, As a matter matter of fact, <laughs> matter of fact, we can make this a little bit better. Roll intimidation. Uh, and show me your girl face. And before I quit the color is my intimidation. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> <Bro. laughs> you oh my god. <laughs> okay. Holy so, shit. You, you, you perform your series of attacks so menacingly, and you sheathe your sword, and you look at Priya dead in her eyes with such intensity that she visibly shakes in place. Ooh. And her defense drops by another 30 points. Damn. So she has minus 40 defense. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking odds at the level 25. And because uh, because Pre activated her burst mode, she is currently oh. suffering the exhaustion effects of Hypersoul. So she quite literally can't do anything. Finish her off. Uh, off. Best chest. Finish her <laughs> off. Oh, and she, and I, I, was, I thought when you said she can't do anything. I, 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 like, I assumed it was like she can't do anything, and then. No, she literally, her literally can't do anything. She's too tired. Oh, this is my turn. <laughs> right. I'm sorry, the boss is gonna die before I could use a turn. Oh, just yo swinging up the sword. After you can just look at me and be like, why? You have all these chances. Oh, a crit though! And I missed, oh wait, I did roll my flame tug. That second flame tug, second time around. I'm like, home, come here, and be hot, hot, After both attacks or after that one swing? After all the numbers I just finished rolling together. That, I'm not sure if that answers my question or not. You swung, you use flame tongue, you use spark strike, you use flame tongue, you use spark strike. Okay. Oh. I'll get that tongue on loop. Right to now. So I have a question about a little break. Mm -hmm. When you do a little break, it says recover all your action. Oh, some actions. That includes, does that include the five? Uh, uh, does that mean that repeating the whole turn over again? Or the one actually you used at the start to trigger it? The one you used to trigger it. Okay, that's all I need now. Oh, uh, oh Rick, you might have your chance. Alright, Rick, take her out. Oh, my turn now? Mm -hmm. I have one more action. I'm gonna take one more swing at the end, though. Got this. She's weak, vulnerable. Let me subtract this real fast. All right. Uh, Priya has nine hundred and twenty four health left. Reminder, Rick, you do have your burst mode available to you. Ooh. I want to use it. Well, go for it. What's the burst mode called again? 
it's just called boost mode. Like, you just have to say, hey, I want to activate burst mode, and you're in it. Alright. My character just glares at, uh, what's her name? Freya? Priya. Priya. Looks at Priya menacingly. And gets an evil smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have limit break? Yeah, th this is the only time I will allow you to use limit break inside burst mode. So, on my first action, I'm gonna reload. Okay. Get my bullets back. Use my limit break. Use all 100 bullets at point blank range. Alright. <gasps> Excuse me. That is not a 100. Okay, there it is. Got the rest of your actions left. Then the break doesn't do a lot of damage. I'm sad. Oh. Just wait till we get separated. That's not my comment. My former, my little break's a bit more sad. That's <laughs> yeah, just because other stuff. Point out how at some point her health bar became full again. <laughs> yeah, roll twenty does that. All right, two forty nine HP left. She has 66 HP left. Dude, can I mack her with the butt of my sniper? Just like like a bat? <laughs> you want a home run swinger with the sniper? Damn right. Hey, go for it. Roll strength? Or dexterity? Man, fuck you, bro. Uh, just roll poison lace caliber again. And then for fun, roll strength. Oh wait, that's save. Uh... <laughs> All right. You have. Okay, so you overkilled her by ninety-one points. Uh, she is down, defeated, KO'd. Thank you for coming to the show. She's done. I'm gonna heal her. After, after, after swinging the sniper at full force, it just like it fucking ricochets my arm back. I'm all like, you dance, motherfucker. Uh, she shrinks back down to her regular size. <laughs> She's like sideways. <laughs> right now, let me find the right victory music. 
Now Tom Griffin, she can literally one. Okay. With that done and out of the way, as I look more healthy, <laughs> you have now defeated your second boss. Uh, the intermission is now completed, and at the sessions. beginning of the next session, we'll kick off chapter two. Oh, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Now, I I just let me like, type it's... out the rewards you'll get for oh, defeating oh, the boss. Oh. As I casually just poke her cheek with my rifle. I woke up. Miss Keisha, Miss Keisha. Oh my gosh, she fucking did. Find <laughs> down the cat's cure on her. No. Oh yeah, fuck. We need to make sure she's actually like. Well. Can we like save her? I wanted to save her. That's why I, instead of just shooting her in the face, I decided to knock her ass out. Hmm. Can I cast Asena? We should get a rewards first before we start. Continuing. Yeah. Let me type all this out before I get to answering questions. Poke her cheek. I use the butt of my sword to huh. <laughs> to move her. Body. Now, now taking a closer look at her when she doesn't have that murder look on her face, she is kind of cute. Ah oh, yes, I love that for you. <laughs> I love interest, perhaps. No. <laughs> sort of characters like that. <laughs> because Riku said that you can have a love interest in this game. He didn't confirm it. I don't remember him ever saying that. Yeah, he... He, all he said was, I cannot confirm or deny that. Yep. That's it. No, it's, it's if he can't confirm nor deny, it means that it could be a thing. It could be. like. It could be, but I'm not going to take any chances because, you know, she, she I mean, cray cray. Not with her, but with other characters. Definitely with her. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Stab me in my sleep. Yes. Stab. I'm taking care now. <laughs> the true yonder. Because I, I can just grab and guard even fucking open. <laughs> I just got a funny image of fucking Yashua just batter up. Can't get it out of my head now. Her like left cheek is like swollen. Another level up. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that a level up? Mm -hmm. Woo! Damn! I'm not broke anymore for now. Level nine. Gang shit, we have leveled up. So we get three free points. You get one free point. Oh, one? This is disgusting, man. I'm gonna put in my strength. I'm gonna yeah. put in my strength too, yeah. Yeah, it's because remember, the first two is to your prime stat, and then the lot extra one is to whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's like, so it's like every two levels we get one point, then three points, and one point? No. What? At every level. Two prime, then one extra to do with what you please with. Ah, uh, I don't get that luxury. <laughs> I still get my one point. And because you're a one attack, because you're on an odd number level up this time, uh, if you load up the second time, uh, whatever bonuses you gain from the books and things, apply those as well. I could think about it. Oh, fuck. Forgot about that. I didn't do that for my last level up. Well, no, what, you, eight? you didn't get that bonus last level up. Yeah, you didn't get that eight. How much HP did I have? Oh, yeah, But I leveled up, so that's good. Well, you all handle those. We gain the 5 MP and intellect, right? Yeah. Or is it uh... a corrupted blade? Um, two defense. 
could use this to shave my chest hair. Anyway, once the fight ends, uh, Angela and Ifrit come running back inside the place to make sure you all okay. And she very briefly uh, reprimands Tyr for running back inside where she could have gotten herself killed, but uh, Priya wasn't focused on her. And then eventually Mayor follows in behind them along with uh, Fiend. All I have to say is that hole in that wall was not me. No, she made she made a portal, not an actual hole in the wall. No, the the one I made earlier. Oh, that was that me. <laughs> it wasn't me. Yeah, ain't that ice? <laughs> <laughs> no one has proof. Not the many witnesses, including her being there. I you forget that my drone was still in the air, right? Oh. Not the many I witnesses. I never recalled it back. Yeah, I remember. I'm gonna speak up really loudly and say, Damn, Priya really did smack that wall uber duber hard. <laughs> Damn, Looks how at the wall. Anyway. Wow. Angela, you made <laughs> Angela is going to look at the wall, look at Priya. She's gonna start charging another fire spell, and then Ifrit stops her. Hey, 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 relax, relax. She's down. You don't have to do any of that. Let's just. Get everything sorted out, and then we can continue on, right? Actually, this is the perfect right. time for my scene to be for me to use a scene, uh, especially with my three botch rolls. Looks at looks at the wall. <laughs> Impressive. Oh, I'll be I'll be sure to call you whenever we have to do a heist. Ha. So, what should we do with her as I casually just poke her cheek with my rifle? I, Angela, walks over. Well, no, no, she, she teleports over to where you are. I, I'm going to take this little brat well, and the other happening? two that know her, and I am going to very very thoroughly interrogate them. Ah. Uh, you three, however, you take a moment, catch up on some R&R, &R, and go, go enjoy the rest of the festival. You'll see, you'll see me again in a little bit. And she picks up two out of the three bodies, and she goes up to the wall and grabs a third one, and then she I'm teleports away oh. again. Damn, I can't believe I did all of that in a dress. Set ice. So, Ice, you think you have enough money to repair that wall? Yes. That snicker. <laughs> yes, very soon in a dark alley. Come this way, right quick. <laughs> yeah, no. You forget. <laughs> My bullets could travel a lot faster than you can. You assume that. <laughs> Remember, you only took one shot from me, and it dropped you how much? <laughs> that was like I don't remember one. I remember you. The whole time you were talking about that. You still need to level one or two. That was way way back. You you still need to charge your abilities for you to become tanky. My abilities? Oh, I don't. She just needs to do more things. Because I, you I, I, I more guarantee, things. I guarantee yeah, I you, the trigger. I guarantee you, soon enough, Yuki's gonna be taking just one damage from damn near everything. You don't understand. If I limit break currently ninety, I just gonna touch you once. Burst mode into my limit break. <laughs> Go into burst mode and take more swings at you. <laughs> but that aside, I need to deal with this level up. All right. And with that, I am going to bring this session to a proper close this time. How could you?